And we're live. I live. God, I missed you, team. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. So, it's been a little while. So in case anyone forgot... Let's just get a quick recap going here, get everyone on the right page. So, a lot of you have managed to root out several cultist hideouts, return lots of your entourage to where they should be, whether that's in a vault with their lover or in a library. Yeah. Debatable which one of those is more important, but, you know. I'm pretty sure we agreed that locking that noble man in his own vault where he couldn't bother anyone might have been the single most important task we've ever done. Considering he somehow managed to get food and supplies to Defender's Heart from that vault. Yeah, but he's also in the vault where he can't bother us anymore. Hey, he's not a bad guy, just a rude one. <laughs> Vault. <laughs> Horgus Quirm did have some redeeming qualities. Yes, he was rich. Also secretly faithful. Also rich. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. He's a perfectly fine fellow, if a bit rude. If a bit him, yes. And you have now been recruited to go and destroy the remains of the Wardstone in the area before the demons can turn it to much more nefarious purposes, whatever that may be. It will involve... Killing everyone. <laughs> most likely. I mean, chances are. For that purpose, uh, the warriors of Defender's Heart, the survivors of the city, the left for crusaders, all of them, have... Uh, not so much volunteered as it is their duty to go out and distract the cultists and demons in the city, so you and some volunteers of a sort may infiltrate the home of the Wardstone, otherwise known as the Grey Garrison. That you are aware of, uh, the Paladin Irabeth is coming with you, because she is now mm -hmm. free to do so without exceedingly worrying. Mostly because you returned her lover safely, and uh, you have cleared out enough cultists that her men can operate freely. And apparently the mongrel folk will be sending up some assistance as well, though most of their assistance will be going to the people running distractions for you. Mm. Yep. Yeah. But are they masters of the horse or the bow? The bow, actually. <laughs> I get it. See, I get it's a joke, but they are actually masters of the bow, so... <laughs> Good to know. Most of you oh, should already oh, be prepared to set off at this point, because we did all of our shopping last time. Yeah, and in um, between. I think, you already, I think you already answered this, but I forget. I don't think they had any... Uh... Onyx gems or whatever it was in this no. place, like at all, they wouldn't make sense to. Yeah, no, that that sort of thing has either been forgotten about or looted or yeah. Bulls. Yeah, I, I figured. I just couldn't remember in the moment. Yes, we're good. Okie dokie. So Irabeth is coming with you, and you have given her the uh, the super magic sword to wield. Good old radiance. Mm hmm. But besides that, your extra assistance from the mongrel folk has arrived, and as the um, rather unfortunate-looking woman enters Defender's Heart, you recognize her. This is the mongrel folk ranger you took as a prisoner not so long ago. Oh. Okay. Was that the one that was, like, part of the cultists, like, team or something? Yes. Rather odd, isn't it? Uh, well, okay. <laughs> I seem confused, but well, I'm going to just ask, excuse me, do 
Have I missed something, but weren't you previously... Trying to kill you? That might have been the word I was looking for, yes. <laughs> Information has come up showing the cultists would sooner kill us than fulfill their end of the bargain. I'm glad you have realized this and have turned away from the less than pleasant path you were on. You were just being used. Mm, this is my probation from Chief Soul. Well, we will put in a good word for you if uh, you would cooperate with us. Provided we don't all die on this foolish quest of yours. I oh, like that, yes. Possible, but unlikely. With that, your new companion falls silent and is content to simply follow your orders. We set out. I see no reason not to. I believe we have everything we need. Potions, uh, we've bought everything we need. Money. Ah. I think I was already exchange? prepared all my spells, so yeah. I don't know. I see no reason not to. Is anyone else? Uh... I'm good to go. No, I don't. Give me one moment here, just to update your map. Also, you didn't come through there. I didn't know if you were trying to or not. That is the Grey Garrison here. That's our destination? Yes, it is. What most of you will note is it is where you were standing at the start of this campaign before you were dropped into the Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, In other uh, words, it's where Terendalev died. Yay! Her body was carried off, though, wasn't it? Yes, it was. The Storm King Karamzadeh took it off himself to his citadel. I expect him to be riding a giant undead dragon by the end of things. Okay. Like you wouldn't. Like you wouldn't. Like I wouldn't. I just had the worst thought, and I don't know if I should share it. That's usually a sign not to. Yeah, I'm going to share it anyway. What do you have now? Yeah, one, well. Giant undead dragon real doll. Plus one composite. Yeah, okay. Hold yeah, on. demons would do that. I hate you, though. <laughs> Well, I'm moving out. I don't know about these crazy people. <laughs> that sounds like someone taking point. You're yes. going to finish the marching order. He, he, well, we will allow the squishiest person to take point. Weirdly, I'm not the squishiest person. That's very easily uh, honor. Yeah, that's the cat. Yep. I am so squish. Yeah, but see, that's a full person. Wow. <laughs> you racist. I'm sorry. I need to handle one thing that I keep forgetting about. Tayo, I need your help with something. Uh, that's all. How do I change a macro so that it'll show us the dice roll? Because we keep running into this with Skull Hats. Because he needs to know if he rolls a 1 on something or not. Oh, uh, yeah, my particular Black Lightning is a little bit complicated. Um, uh, uh, point me to the token with the given macro on it. I'm the short man. Um, go to Loot and Inventory. It's Tazrak. Loot and Inventory. I will give you ownership for a moment. Littlest guy. Uh, to global. explain what needs to happen, uh, the black lightning thing is a channel energy, but it's a ray, so it's an attack, so like a normal weapon. It rolls uh, D8s, uh, whatever they, no, D6s, sorry, it's channel energy, D6s mm -hmm. like normal. Thing is, I have a trait where if I'm using it to harm the living, any ones I roll, I can re-roll. So I need to know if there are ones in the damage I roll for it to know if I need to re-roll them. Hey, uh, I need permission to edit that macro, so... Uh... Edit the uh, right-click macro properties, second tab, allow players to edit. I mean, is there any chance you okay, wouldn't okay. want to keep it as a one? Because we could automate the re-roll. I couldn't think of when I would want to keep a one, though. 
Because <laughs> that's just a simple check, and then it just re-rolls it, and then you'd never know if you rolled a one, but it would just work. Yeah, the uh, the the d sixes or the two hits or d six. The d each d six. Anytime a d six rolls a natural one, it, I can re-roll it. I have to accept whatever the re-roll is, but yeah. Uh... Oh. If it's a uh, janky uh, macro, uh, that's because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Um, uh, this will be just a minute. Um, While he completely fixes everything you've done. <laughs> this, 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 actually. I, I know there's an option to enable re-rolling, because otherwise we have to manually roll the dice one at a time and total up the sum, but I think there is a parameter to the roll function where we can set that up. He's so goddamn smart. The uh, question is whether that experience is that not the same. I mean, it's just 2d6. You just roll each separately, do a quick check, and then add them together. Yeah. In fairness, there will be more d6s in future, so a lot more. That is how channeling works. Mm. So you can continue, and so long as no one moves this token, I can quickly fix up the macro uh, that's on it. It'll while you're in there, uh, before I forget, while you're in there, the channel energy to hurt people works the same way. So even the basic AOE one through that one's a little easier, I imagine, to fix because that one doesn't have an attack roll. It's just uh, the attack roll doesn't change anything. That yeah, doesn't. Yeah. Uh, uh, carry on. Yeah. Well, you say carry on. But we're gonna need that token in a second. Yeah. You could ask him to sing Carry On My Wayward Son. I don't know if he knows the song. Okay. Who who doesn't know that song? I don't. I mean, I, I know this, it, but, but I can't I sing it. it. Yeah, pretty much that. I mean, I got bits. Okay, that's different than not knowing the, the song exists. Okay, well, fair enough, but you can't sing it if you know it. Like, I think the only song I could sing that I know is probably uh, Rick Rolling. It's probably the only one. You can't sing Happy Birthday? I don't know if Happy Birthday even counts as a song at this point. It's a song. It's a shit song, but it's it's a a song. It's got like two lyrics. Um, so does some really famous music. Like? Eat stuff? Pretty much. All Justin Bieber music, unfortunately. Okay, that, I don't... (laughs) A lot of metal doesn't really have even words. That's true. That requires a skill on its own, though. Also, classical doesn't also. have words. Yeah, but that's music, not a song. It's, it, it, it's, it's a de- definition of song. Okay. Like, I wouldn't count classical as a song. I count it as music because there's no singing, like you said, so... You can also... Technically, song can include compositions that have song-like elements, which aren't actually singing. I suppose if you used, like, natural sounds, maybe, or something to that degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you can use stuff or instrumentation that mimics song-like qualities and it still counts. Yeah, I can see that. Only the genius, no. I don't think they can take zero damage. Yep, yep. Also, the stuff before it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he's aware. Yep. It's hard it, that, that was a deliberate test. I'm just, it's just very amusing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that one. That's fine. I'm going with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I like that. That's good. Well, campaign's over, guys. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Destroying the city one lightning at a time. <laughs> I have your god. Fuck this area in particular. <laughs> so that worked is because R is not a reroll if less than or equal to, it's reroll if less than. So that needs to be D6 R2. One more test should do it. D2? Oh, that's 400 damage. Like I said, I'm happy with that. <laughs> there we go. Reset N to be floor 1 plus level 2 instead of being 100. 
<laughs> Leave a mount as it is. Change that from an R to an H. And... Blam! Nope, it's showing a 1. Why is it showing a I think one? that's something that we fixed before, but I mean, so people couldn't edit it. That came up before. Let, let him figure it out, because... Probably, he actually knows Here what we go. Doing in this slide. Yeah, uh, you're printing out the dex modifier instead of hiding <laughs> it. Eh? Where's that coming up? I didn't do that before. Uh, line four, you had R colon dex mod equals floor of ability status, etc. instead of H colon. Well, okay then. There we go. That uh, looks suitable. That automatically rerolls any ones in the roll. And he just copy the slab of code there. What was the other macro? What needs it? Channel energy. Uh, channel energy when using it to harm. When to harm. He's got the same thing. Uh, it's just black. It's the same thing. It's just, just without the attack roll because it's, yeah, yeah, it's literally the same thing. Just without an attack roll. His if black lightning. Okay. His black oh, lightning. Oh my god. Alright, so I need I need to calculate the amount for harm separately from the amount to heal. Them, More right? or less. Yes. You can always just make an extra macro just for harming versus healing if you No, that's alright. Yeah, yeah, because um his black like lightning re- his black yeah. lightning is a channel energy harm just put into a ray. Yep, I have a feat to make it a laser beam. Not each <sighs> And Vankman's busy. There we go. Okie dokie. Those are both good then? Those are, there you go. Okay, let's just do this. The thrilling world of off screen code editing. (laughs) <laughs> okay. On we go then. Onwards to the Grey Garrison. Though, of course, nothing is ever so simple. Because it is on your way there. You find yourself fairly unmolested by demons and cultists because of, well, there's lots of distractions going on in the city. You can hear fighting around you. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a spell that I... Hold on. Something we need to wait for, or no? Uh, Like, I just am in a token for half a second, so let me just... Oh, you'll have one in a second. Ah, uh, well, it's not when I have it on the blue inventory, so... Okay, fine, I'll update yours. This one's easier. Did yeah, we, we were going to battle, and I wanted that prepared. At a certain okay. point, you turn down a side alley to find... It's one of the most damaged you've seen in the city. Rubble everywhere, only one building on a side still standing bits of it on fire and coming down to the side you're not the only ones in this alley hmm who else is down the alley Oh, I have finished my token, so you can go ahead and... <clears throat> Tayo? Mm. If you would like to describe Lortan, please. You see a ways down the street. Uh, what appears to be a short obsidian statue. And, well... Several, uh, uh, several rather bedraggled-looking commoners not f- cowering behind him. Uh, 
it, it looks fairly statue-like, but you know, then you notice it seems to also be slightly on fire. The morning star in its hand is uh, is uh, has uh, ashes falling off of its uh, falling off of its uh, head periodically, and he moves unnaturally. And they are carrying behind it. Well, it, it seems like the whole group was moving together and have suddenly come up short because it, it, a bunch of people turned around the far corner. Will anyone step forward, or will Erebeth have to do it? I'll do it. If anyone's going to not judge based on their looks, it's going to be fucking me. I approach with Flower at my side. Greetings. Uh, I presume you are helping these good people. I should probably describe myself to you, shouldn't I? Uh, I, I can see the token. I, uh, that's uh, pretty fair to what's going on. Uh, for my own sensibilities, uh, Ian, mm -hmm. in the past few days, how likely is it that I would see a group of demons that look like this lot? Like this lot? No, the demons aren't hiding anymore. They're all awful skin, oozing sores, big wings, teeth, claws. It's not subtle. So they mostly look like Tazerak, but the rest of us are normal. <laughs> and Tazerak is too um, draconic. The the low level demons don't look very deadly like that. Mm, okay. Luton takes his eyes off of the uh, off of the group ahead of him looks around, finds a relatively intact wall, and points his charges to go uh, to stand near it in its cover. And takes a few steps forward. Still cautious. Because who knows? Illusions abound. <laughs> He as yet speaks no words. I click my tongue and say, uh, well, assuming you are here to help keep the innocents safe in this city, I greet you as an ally. I am Tazrak, the Grave Tender. This is Flower, my companion. And these are my other companions who will happily introduce themselves to our new hopeful ally. And I can look at everyone and, like be polite motherfuckers. <laughs> Erebeth steps forward, of course. Do you defend these people? Been trying. Been succeeding. Some. Hmm. The other survivors in Canabras have been heading toward uh, Defender's Heart, is that it? Defender's Heart, yes. Yes. Which is not too far behind us. Indeed. If you send the civilians that way, my men can find them. They would be safe there. I can vouch for that. As safe as anywhere is. <laughs> yeah, given. One of you, forward. Alright. Uh, stay here, Flower, a moment. I'm willing to trust. Stand close, Wormling. Yes. I have a name, if you could just use it. Tazrak, I have introduced myself. He lets you mutually approach and just prods you once or twice in the chest, middle of the chest with his mace. It's Morning star, rather. Rude. <laughs> uh, you hit, it's like clang of armor underneath the robe, but otherwise. Why are you poking me? He's seeming satisfied. <laughs> he puts the he puts the morning star in his other hand and offers a gauntleted hand. I take it on my much smaller clawed one. Oh, uh, it's good to meet you, uh, Lord 
please everyone roll me a perception. And shit, I think that's the one thing I forgot to do for Lord Dan, the skills. Guess not. Uh, you don't you don't need to worry about the perception one. It, it's got no, no points in it. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I can. Uh, I'll calibrate my skills. Yeah. Okay. And I assume that you're just rolling my wolf yourself because it has no buttons for skills. Uh, yeah, Morph. I'll handle it if you don't want you don't to want just, just roll it. Morph. I forget. Do you have a page for that? Okay, you're all fine. Because, uh... How are you choosing to have this wolf's name pronounced, by the way? Annie. What? what? That was a question for you. He asked you a question. No, I, I heard that he asked me a question, but then you said my name, and I thought you were trying to say something to me instead. Oh, uh, no, just because you didn't respond, so... Yeah, I was getting spam pinged. I had to shut off and go to do not disturb. Um, I believe it's pronounced a Nanor. 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 Well, Nanor rolled a nat twenty and is going to start barking, alerting everyone. Bark, bark. Okay. Wolves don't really bark, but okay. You the equivalent. They make noises that aren't howls. They growl. They are capable of noises that are not unlike a bark. It's true. And I think it's called the yipping. Either, Either way. way. Either way, you are aware of people approaching before they get the drop on you, thanks to that. Good dog. And down the uh, the alley, jumping out from behind ruined buildings and such, cultists. Because of course they are. Okay. Oh, good. It's time for murder. And. One in robes, so you have not seen their like before. It's a caster, kill it. Yeah, it's a caster, kill it. Geek the mage. Geek the mage. <laughs> There's no surprise round, thanks to Nyanor. So, roll initiative. Alright then. Yay, 20. I forget, do ranger pets just act on the player's initiative? Usually. I We so really far. need to have an initiative for um, urban combat, by the way. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, I rolled poop. Did You're pretty you much the only one who did. What did yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Because I like reacting as okay. the healer. Right anyway. now it's plus two in urban. It's just I have to keep editing it every time, which is a little obnoxious. Alright, we'll mess with it later. Yeah, considering the kind of character I am, I actually prefer reacting rather than being proactive because of the way things work for me. I mean, there's something actually to be said to being mostly last. Mm -hmm. uh, it's consistent. Yeah, I, I get to set the tone for next turn. Urban Guard. Mm -hmm. That's way too far. Get yourself between the enemy and the uh, elders. The, com um, the commoners will be moving on Lortan's initiative, by the way. Uh, we don't know if Lortan beat the cultists. Yes, we do. We do. Out of character, we know. Well, yeah. In character, we don't know what initiative is. Fair enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> on. It's a word. <laughs> yeah. I just want to check the rules on running. Um, is that an AC penalty? I don't think it's yeah. No, I think it is because you get bonus movement. Um, You lose any dexterity bonus to AC unless you have the run feet. That is not a good thing for... That's like all your AC, isn't it? Pretty Most much, because I also lose my monk bonus. Yeah, that makes oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to be running. No, totally. Go for it. I will lightly jog everywhere. <laughs> so, 40 feet and standard 
Uh, and uh, full defense action. Okie dokie. Anora. Okay. Mew. Thankfully, I have spells again. By the so, way, if um, Wenduog and Yurabeth are given no orders, they will go at the bottom of the round. Otherwise, anyone can order them on their turn, and that's their action. Full action oh. or? Standard. So I am going to cast Mage Armor on myself, which will last for four hours. Okay. Just make sure you actually cast it. It'll last more than four hours. Go see a doctor. And after that, I will start to close it. You're not letting close? Uh, Luthwen. If you only you could see the look I'm giving you right now, Kaylee. It they hurts are, my eyes. They are exactly five feet out of my range. If I find it, <laughs> I am yeah. so annoyed right now. <laughs> well, you can yeah. attack past your ranging command. It's just out of hell. Yeah. What is the penalty two. for doing? Minus two. Minus, yeah, minus, minus two, two per bracket, I think. Yeah, per bracket. But there's no way that outside of the first, like just the first bracket, you know. Remember, you can use a bow to hit someone like over a thousand fucking feet away if you're that good at it. It's just penalties. No, I'm five foot shooting at the evoker. Uh, can I assume he's human? Yeah. Yeah. It should say plus one next to it, doesn't it? Oh, wait, 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 stop that. You don't have the upgrade, updated token. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we we need to give me the right macro, the right, right token. I'm a different person! <laughs> a clone attacks! There you go. I mean, feel free to put arrows in them. Just remember the cover roll. Yes, you are firing through two ranks of cultists trying to get to that evoker. If you're firing at the evoker at all. I, yeah, I'm still doing it. Yeah. What exactly does that do, though? We don't see cover very often. Yeah, I think it's just a flat plus two to their AC, or four maybe? I think it's just two, though. Uh, soft it. cover is plus four, actually. Yeah, it was four, you're right. And I don't think having more than one evoker in the way makes it better than so soft cover. I still don't think it does. So I don't think he's completely obscured. Which is the only way to get hard. Okay, I need to know this because I need to know whether I'm just going to take a move to negate the other penalty then. It's a plus four AC soft cover. Yes. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I'm not going to... I'll just take the fucking move. And fire a single time. You're going to five foot step or actually move, move. Actually move, move. Ah, it's not bad. Oh boy. Yeah, it's real good. Pew. That's a hit. Nice. And you put an arrow in his shoulder, and he doesn't react. Not even to cry out in pain. Oh, great. Lortan. Okay, wait. Does my pet do anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting unless you remind me. Hmm. Yes, wolfy, 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 wolf. I mean, wolf. it depends on how you want to... You haven't really gone over how you want me controlling this thing. You can just control it if you want. That's basically how it works. Well, I can't technically because because initiative, of token ownership, etc. Mm -hmm. Put it back on my initiative, real quick. Yeah, I can't even. I can't move them all the way. Even yeah, on the initiative. dog needs its own initiative. They need to set to whatever hers is. Uh, that's not what fixes it. It's the fact that uh, Lithwood, the player character has initiative, so that's the only PC token that can be moved right now. Yes. Bye. So, so I put uh, Nanor's initiative right underneath hers. Is there a way to just turn Nanor to an NPC? Nanor is right an now, NPC. Yeah. yeah. Move, the, move initiative to Nanor. Now try moving him. <laughs> fork. Fork, fork, fork. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, yeah, he just runs. She just runs around in circles, biking her tail. Happy dog. Uh, checking her. Oh, okay, yeah, she moves quickly. It's a dog. I don't think I want her moving closer than that yet. That's right. What's the range on Intimidate, just for shits and giggles? Uh... I don't know yeah. of a range on Intimidate. As yeah. long as I can see and hear you, it's fine. Yeah, fine! She's gonna try and bark at them next. I mean, look, I don't have much else to do right now. I know, it's just... You don't see that often, it's kinda cool. Ah! <laughs> Burf. 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 Hold on. God damn it, Moon Moon. <laughs> yeah, you get nothing. You can actually spec a wolf pretty good for Intimidate, but... It, yeah. It helps once they're actually large. Uh, now, Lortan. Borf, borf, pat, pat, pat. Lortan turns to, uh, to, to face these foes, puts his Morningstar back in his good hand, takes one step forward, glows with the... Uh, glows with embers all around the edges of his body and shouts Kongas Pach Kazoom type <laughs> nearest, nearest cultist Oh god, that spells mean Okie dokie Bushoda DC 13 Mock not the dragonborn Mock Okay, how dare you Sensing he was injured, the they have ate seven whole cheese wheels. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> they have unfortunately made their will save. It's not that high a DC. Yeah, but it's so cool when it works. They it are is. all looking at each other wondering what on earth you just said, though. Yeah, I don't have that language, but I also don't know enough languages to even tell what it is probably. Well, if it was, I could actually roll on that weird. If anyone so. has linguistics, feel free. Yeah, you can just roll on it to get the general. Uh... Is Linguistics trained only? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, then I can't roll. Unless you're a bard. You got nothing. Shrug. I mean, I'm assuming it's not Abyssal, so... The, uh, commoners all go running. Because I know Abyssal, and that wasn't Abyssal. Just out of curiosity, is this difficult terrain or anything? Uh, no. The stuff in the middle is not. Uh, if you want to run through the stuff on the side, it will be. Yes, because that's more piled up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Cult Wizard. Evoker. Because that's what uh, non class level wizards are. Mm hmm. Fireball. You know, you say that. Oh dear. I was about twin to say it too. <laughs> no, twin maximize magic, chain dragon lightning, go. Oh god damn it, you're gonna kill all the commoners? What do you think their job here is? Kill the commoners. Uh will you allow me I actually don't know, do we have hero points in this? I don't think we established that. Uh no, because you're gonna get other things later on. Don't worry, you'll get ah. stuff. Okay, I don't worry. I was just, yeah, I was gonna use it and then it's fine. Fireball! Um, yeah. Reflex uh, save? Yes, uh -huh. reflex save. Uh, this is gonna suck. I will use my cat thing I can't hear you. to roll my reflex twice and take the best result. Sure. Come on. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I needed that! Oh, I had evasion. So, you take nothing? Yeah. If that's six, if that be uh, beats a DC. One moment. Yeah, 
Um, yes. Also, I think I think my um... hmm? no, never mind. I was looking at something else. Carry on. Uh, there is actually one thing I need to do before we move off of this guy's turn. Well, I'm about to roll damage. Is it before that? Uh, no. Go ahead. My roll, by the way, was my head. That's a lot. Yes, so the wolf, Honora, and Ermengarde have succeeded. For half? Yes. Well, Ermengarde or takes none. Or none in the case of... Yeah. You roll up, uh, round up, right? I believe so. Ouchies. Well, I'm almost dead. So yeah, take 11. I cough smoke. <laughs> I was like in the center of that oh, fucking. Right, don't worry about it. How much health is it? I somehow have? dodge it. I bet you just leap straight up in the air and do like a backflip. <laughs> Mark it down. I'll set out your wolf. Just like, yeah. um. Bye, yeah. in here. Yeast. Yeah, I'll go and handle that one right here. And unfortunately, Lord Ton will be taking that 21 as well. Doesn't that hurt? Ow. Good news. Uh, for the next, how many rounds? There you go. Uh, for the next two rounds, uh, my weapon has gets plus one d four fire damage. Oh, yeah, one of those. Good. Sweet. Because it's the heat forged steel, right? Yeah. Fire yeah. forged. Yes. Fire forged. This is fucking cool. The commoners are not dead. Some of them are singed and screaming, but they're not dead. I would think a little more than singed, but... Flower! Vengeance for flower! Actually, no, flower's an arm or something, actually. Can flower just run? Flower, well, I'd have to go in a straight line. I can't go through your wolf. Ow. Oh. Oops. It's fine. Flower just moves there. That's her whole turn. I mean, that's still considered a straight line. Yeah, it is. Actually, yeah, that totally is. Uh, is it? Yeah. It's just a straight line slightly off to the side. Okay, mm -hmm. well, um, she will run then, so that's a quadruple one speed, I believe. Unless she's in heavy armor. Uh, I think she's still in medium, double checking. Breastplate, uh, medium, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, quadruple. So, E. She loses her dex bonus to AC. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold tests. And then suddenly the Kool Aid Man. Oh yeah. What's yeah. in right over here? They, <laughs> uh, they see that someone's come running forward to meet them, so they're going to go meet them. Oh, by the way, the uh, the thing uh, for the evoker. Yes. Uh, I need to roll spellcraft because I need to know whether that was divine or arcane. Okay. Uh, oh, skill manager wasn't open. There we go. Is Fireball even on some divine list? Uh, yes, depending on your, uh... D if you have Domain of domain. Fire. <laughs> yeah, Which Domain of Fire, you get it. How about it gives you lots of ways of getting spells? That was uh, Arcane. That was Arcane, thank you. Carry on. Try to wait for some... The cultists are running and swinging at Flower because she's the easiest, closest target. Okay. Don't slut shame. Wow. <laughs> What's Flower's AC? 20 right now. Miss. Clang. Miss. They have those weird pull levels, right? Yes. Yes. They're using the short side. Mm -hmm. That one will hit. Will do any damage whatsoever. Clunk. Oh, it's kind of badass right now. Just running in and just taking it. Uh, was that bludgeoning, by the way, or was it was it not bludgeoning damage? Yes. So I get my dr. Which is how much? Five. Five. Skeleton. 
Skeleton. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's a way. Okay, they can get in without moving to fair and square. She, she uh, flower does have combat reflexes. So. Missed. She will get an AOO on this one because they're running all the way around. Okay. So go go ahead and swing. Uh, Morning star. This is not power attack. Da -da 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 -da. Flump. The morning star really do slashing damage? No, it does uh, piercing and bludgeoning, but uh, I don't think they updated it for That's long. That's so. odd. I know I updated it at some point, but whatever. Mm -hmm. We know what it is, so it's not that big a deal. Either way, uh, she bashes the cultists in the face, but they're still up. And they miss. Clang. Take another arrow. arrow. Okay. No idea. Nope. And they miss. Clang. Tazrak, you're kind of hurt. Yes, I am. I'm also kind of pissed. Uh... <clears throat> That's the best way to heal myself. Leonora is asking for a uh, potion. She wants, like, uh, I don't know, full strength or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very descriptive Borf dog. <laughs> I don't look, carry Odin, those Odin knows very well how to speak Borf. Yeah, the thing is, I don't no, carry those look, potions. He's asking for buff wine. And um, wine means potion. Man, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! uh, well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to check something. Okay, I could do that. And honestly, I think I'm going to. Because I, I can't heal myself fast enough is the problem. I have to spend like a whole turn just getting ready to heal. So... You mean, including the potions you have in your bag? Yeah, I'd have to spend a turn getting them out, and then, um... Turn drinking, I guess? Uh... It's a move action to pull out an item, and then standard action to drink it. It is not a move action to get it out of a backpack. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. I guess that's why having a ha That's why a handy haversack is so valuable. It, it it improves it from a fall round to a standard. What do you mean it's so handy? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's also why one. belt pouches are pretty good, because you can just, if it's like the yeah. only thing in the pouch. I have some, but I have so much stuff. Um, I didn't think about getting a handy hammer sack, but I can't carry very much, but yeah, whatever. Um, I think we also literally couldn't find them. Yeah, I, I don't think we could actually yeah. find any. We didn't. We didn't request that. They were too expensive. Yeah, we couldn't. They were just too. They didn't have that stuff yet. Sorry, I'm, I'm measuring. Okay, that's good. Um, fuck all y'all in the face. It's an interesting spell name. So yeah, okay. uh, all those cultists. This is to harm, so Flower isn't going to heal off it. It's just that's not how that works. She's not just not. She's just not affected. I can either do selective or whatever. It don't matter. She's not affected. Why would she heal off of it though? Uh, when you choose to channel energy, you either choose to harm the opposite thing or heal the current thing. You can't do both at the same time. Unless you. So if I were to heal. channel energy to harm things, even if she is uh, an undead and therefore not affected by negative energy, she's just not affected. She doesn't get to heal off it. Really? I thought that. No, no. it's not both. He's correct. Huh. Okay. You pick one. I it's believe it's a feat. I thought it was like, just channel negative, and then it's just like things get hurt or healed depending on what they are. No, nope. that would work, except that you run into the problem of a necromancer being the biggest asshole in the world and nuking the party while healing his minions. I just yeah. assumed that's what a necromancer did. I thought they were the biggest yeah. assholes in the world. That's yes, <laughs> but no. <laughs> Having an army is also assholeish, and they don't want to make it too strong. Okay. Mm. I, I, hmm. All right. So, whom does that affect? Two of them. Uh, every single one of the cultists. Two of them have resisted. Okay, they'll take five, and the others take ten, then. And one of them has died, the one that Flower smacked upside the head. Jolly good. So I just unleash the lightning from my body? Yes. Ermengarde. Actually, wait. 
Because no one ordered them, they are going to move at the very end, Irabeth and Wendwag. As still smoking, Tazrak just stomps forward, unleashes horrifying black lightning, and seers the cultists. Earth. He looks peeved. Irabeth, realizing that uh, this encounter might be over sooner than the cultists may have thought, is going to retrieve her heavy crossbow. And fire a bolt. At the evoker? No, they're a bit out of range, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, 110. But she will crit a cultist. That works. <laughs> They're just dead on the spot. <laughs> I'm actually legitimately short enough to where I probably don't grant uh, soft cover to any of them. No, you do not. Especially not when Irabeth is uh, a half-orc and thus quite tall. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really doing much for these guys. <laughs> I'm little. <laughs> now, Wendwag will show off her mongrel folk skills. Like interpretive dance? Yes. I could use a bard, actually, right now. That'd be great. She yeah. also has favorite enemy humans. Mm. And she has a shot on one here without cover. Is it this one? Yes. It's sweet. She doesn't crit, but she definitely hits. For maximum damage, which will kill. Is, uh... Dead. Now it is Urban Guard. Uh. That's why I black lightning, because now they're all vulnerable to instant death. So I could run up and try to smack them. I'll go straight for the Evoker. Uh, Flower has the three pinned down. If they try and run like to fight, Flower will just hit them. Mm -hmm. And they're so weak at this point that they will die. Unless Flower gets obscenely unlucky, I guess. Yeah. The only thing is, um, unless at this point, um, Ermengard could consider uh, these people to be completely and utterly incorrigible. Um, they did it, throw a fireball at civilians. Uh-huh. Yeah, so is that um, acceptable to not be adhering to her oath right now, then? I, I'd say that's fine. They are actively trying to burn people to a crisp just for the fact of doing so. Yeah. So, they could have uh, just hit us with that fireball fairly easily and not touch the, you know, innocents. But, yes, uh, it would not have been difficult for them to avoid hitting the civilians, but they didn't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and charge that guy. Because, uh, movement range is 40, and he's only 60 feet away. And you get to double move for a charge, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Tackle. Yeah. Ah, Unfortunately, you can't grapple from a charge. Yeah, just gotta yeah. punch him. Yeah, I guess you can't. Yeah. Hit with your waifu. Uh -huh. My punch. <laughs> That's probably good, right? It'll be bludgeoning. Yep, yeah, you hit him in the face. He's still up, though. Mm-hmm. Honora. Okay. Bless me. I'm gonna pull out a wand. Froze. No comment. And... Two gray bolts shoot out of it. They're magic missiles, of course. And they... Home in on the evoker. Let's see. A D D four plus one. Let's hope he doesn't have shield on. Yeah, otherwise he just could bleep. Hey, you know who might be able to tell? No. No. That would take detect magic time too. So no. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you just be able to see the aura if he had one? Uh, you have to detect the magic on to see magic at all. No, no, it's uh, talking about me. Um, oh. But at the same time, I have to concentrate. So in combat actions, it's not a great time for that. She's also quite yes. far away. So here we go. Yeah. 
One does four damage, the other does two damage. He still stands for now. Well, if have another argument. Maybe barely. I feet. And I... Helena, could you please, uh... Oh, there you go. Actually. Stand over here, like, or something. Right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can go through friendly squares, so... With a move action. Uh, can she do a move action, though, after she drew a wand? Yeah, yeah remember, remember you drew a wand, you can move and then act. Yeah, um, but it, if I move and then act, it's the same thing, so we'll just say that. Okay, well... And Arna, Arna, you can pass through Lorten Square like as if he's a friendly, so you can just straight back. That's because he is a friendly. Not I... as if he's a friendly. I don't know, are we sure? <laughs> Luthwen. Five foot. Evoker. Fire away. Dang. Probably hit. Dang. He's dead. Jesus Christ. Arrows into him. It's just sprouts arrows. Slump. Slump. Alrighty then. Hey, Nor. Worf! Bow wow. Worf. <laughs> Oh, sorry, plus two from the charge. Okay. 17 then. Probably gonna hit. Probably. Yes, it will. Also, trip. What's the trip roll? Um, I think it's the same as the attack roll. It is. Yeah, it is, because it's part of the attack. Mm. Oh, so okay. 17. Some damage, which does not kill them, and they are prone. Yep. Bye. <laughs> oh, you mean combat maneuvers that, like, like trip that affect uh, take effect if the uh, attack succeeds? Yeah. No, you roll the you roll the CMB separately. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I mean, you will still get a plus two on it because you charged, but. Yeah, it's it is a separate roll. Mm. Okay, so that won't probably work. Well, CMD isn't always higher than AC. Yeah, it depends. But in this case, it will not work. For it's just, just a slight scratching at the ankles. Morph. Lortan. Or Lorton, whichever. Lorton. Uh, as that cultist. Uh, Ducks and attempts to uh, uh, and attempts to fight off that dog. What time charges? Can't charge through allies, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. charging's one of those things. I don't know. Bad hell. You can just move and whack it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> you heard me. He has a 20 foot movement speed. Oh, uh, let me see then. Hmm. That's yeah, okay. I do have an alternative. So in the future, don't block the rock man. I thought he was that slow. Most people are only 20 feet in uh, medium armor or better. Where A few sad halflings go like 15 feet. Well, that's because ha halflings should just be on top of a dog. Generally speaking. Or a dinosaur. I will eventually play a half like cavalier on a riding dog. No, Dinonychus. No, dinosaur. I want the riding dog. I have a perfect picture for it. Oh, okay. Uh, shame about that puppy. Uh, okay. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> We're all in each other's way. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to K off a little to the side here. And... <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no. Well, this is our first time meeting each other. Some awkwardness was to be expected. 
Mm, yeah, we really uh, don't know how Lordan fights. Those cultists, uh, what are they? What are what are they wielding? Weird Point double sticks. weapons. Some very weird weapons. Yeah. Uh, either the orc double axe. I replace one end with a hook. It's like Pretty a glaive much. on one end and something. And a spear on the other. Mm, oh, right. Um, it is just kind of a double weapon that's just odd. No they also stuff. carry daggers. Well, one half of it has reach, but they're not using yes, that right one now. One half yeah. has reach, the other does not. But they have to declare what they're using, and they're using the short range, obviously. Because they want to pile in on flower. That didn't work out too well for them. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize this spell actually takes like three rounds to reach uh, maximum effectiveness. Mm -hmm. I will have to reconsider that. It's still a great spell. It's just it's better on certain kinds of targets rather than mooks. What are you talking about? Heat metal. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's All a right. great spell, but it's particular. Uh, in that case... Yeah, that cone isn't... Uh... Yeah, that cone is the one that I have to not get the poor puppy in. If you have a right. cone of coal, I mean flower. <laughs> I, I'm I'm a max, I'm actually just gonna try, uh, take another shot at uh, Pondaska. Uh, the cultist at the back this time, uh, number seven for another murderous command. They fail. Okay. Murder each other. Does it, do they just take an attack right then? No. Nope. Okay. On their next turn, they make every effort to attack their nearest ally. Okay, okay. If they if there's no ally in immediate reach, they spend their whole turn reaching an ally to attack. Well, the evoker is dead. Uh, the commoner is just going to keep running, of course. And flower. Flower will flower. Uh, flower will take a swing at that cultist. Okie dokie. Nothing. Swing and, and miss. Well, actually, hold on a second. Okay. No, that'll hit. Mm. Hey, thump. suck. Thump. Yeah, thump. Good. The cultists. Cultist 7 will turn and attack cultist 8. Yep. Well, that happened. And crit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and roll minimum damage on both rolls. Fail. The softest crit. It's still yeah. enough to kill, though. Yeah. Anora turns to um, Lortan with sparkles in her eyes and is like, I want to learn how to do that. I give Anora a very concerned look. <laughs> while the cultist does that, its eyes blaze with the exact same color as Lortan's own uh, falling ash red eyes. Um, I call it to the last remaining cultist. You have this one opportunity to surrender peacefully. And I'm going to drink a potion. Nanor will then add Borf. <laughs> as soon as I finish this beer, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, Cure Sirius is 3D8, I believe. Yeah, it's 3D8. Now, I believe Murder's Command lasts only one round. It does. So the cultist will, uh,. Not respond, but look very nervous and be trying to step back. But only if people are willing to drop out of initiative for the chance of it. I, you know, I'm gonna have Flower like we're gonna take you prisoner, but yeah, surrender, asshole. Uh, but let me heal first. Uh, the criticals uh, minimum level is five, so plus five. Turn. Okay, uh, that works for me. Cool. All right, uh, yeah, that's my turn. I'm done. Okay. Nice high roll. Yeah, I was happy about it. Ermengard, the cultist might be surrendering. What will you do? 
Grappler? Well, go grapple. Surrender. Or sexy wrestle time. <laughs> I think I got her. Yeah, looks like it. They have pills for that. Hmm. Unlike mage armor, it shouldn't last more than four hours. You now have a cultist prisoner. Hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. If one will be approaching with her butt. Uh, is, uh, is that uh, cultist actually yielding, or...? They have dropped their weapon. And are currently being uh, suplexed, or yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty yielded. Even if they weren't yielding, they're yielded. Growl, perf. Okay. Are the civilians still? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go solve that. I'm like shouting for attention. Like it's over. It's over. Wait, wait. They don't stop. <laughs> Come, I, I need to attend to your wound. You're going to hurt yourself further running like that. You are well uh, yeah, aware be... that when they reach Defender's Heart, there will be plenty of magical healing waiting for them, so you don't need to waste any of yours on them. I know, I'm gonna just roll heal to make sure that they can make it without further yes. damaging themselves. So while seeing, that, that, uh, can... seeing that the civilians seem to be well in the care of the uh, of, of the small, uh, of, of the very, very small dragon... <laughs> Uh, Lord Tan uh, goes over to the uh, evoker and searches him. The dog just wants love. Stop running from it. <laughs> no! That's not even what I was, she was doing originally, but it's like, okay! <laughs> okay, Lord Tan, let's focus. The evoker in question... He does not have much on him. Mogs mm -hmm. are good that... Um, the casters being sent out with the groups are not the most well equipped for how spread out they are. Please tell me he was wearing pants under that robe. Uh, uh. Yes, he's wearing <laughs> pants. But they are not stylish. <laughs> what In does fact, he carry? He carries four different wands, but they've all been expended. Hmm. So he's been around just a while. for show. He, he probably been... just hasn't had time to resupply. Yes. Okay. You're not going to get anything off of him, unfortunately. Okay. After checking him over for any sort of tokens or, uh, 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 you know, any any sort of uh, signs that of, that would identify him, uh, Lortan patiently, uh, carefully, and uh, diligently flattens his skull. Jesus. With the Morning Star. I like him. Fumpity, 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 fumpity. What are we planning to do with the live one? We can't escort him back. We don't have the time. Dadraco. As if as an answer to your prayers. You know, you do know her prayer was to be able to shoot him, right? <laughs> An arrow descends from the sky and it pales his head. <laughs> She might not like cultists. I mean... At the sound of battle, some of Irabeth's companions arrive on the scene. Oh. Given you had not traveled very far yet. Mm -hmm. Ah, good men. We need to escort a prisoner and some civilians if you could. They salute, right. as Irabeth gives them much the same orders, though in more detail. Mm hmm. Assuming Ermengard will give up her new friend. <laughs> once the knights come over here, yes. For a second, I was like, but you're saying, once the knights done, yes. <laughs> Luf one's busy comforting Neonor because Neonor is singed. Speaking of singes, uh, I should start passing out the potions for healing at this point. Uh, good friend, uh, Lortan, could you come here? We have uh, spares. You look, uh, um, more singed than usual, if that is usual. Has been worse, but thank you. You haven't uh, time 
Where? Uh, pardon? Sorry, I was looking at my inventory. Someone mentioned being in a hurry. Ah, uh, we are attempting to stop the uh, demons from... Oh, what was it precisely again, Lothwin? I think it's it is again. something that we probably should not speak of in open corridors. It is a saying it's of grave importance. <laughs> grave. Huh. I made it funny. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, a mission that concerns the safety of Canabras. If you wish to do the most grave. good, if you wish to do the most good, um, we would be well and happy to have you along. But if not, Defender's Heart will have you. Uh, just tell me when to stop, Anora. Okay, so... That, All those 17 so far. That's, that's, enough. that's enough. Okay. Uh, who else is hurt? Neodor needs something. She's down 11 health. Coke. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, that was her. That was her Neodor. <laughs> yeah, eight's fine. Okay. Uh, right, and lower 10 needs a bit better than that, so you're going to get... Are. And what is this? I uh, cure Point. serious wounds potion for you to drink. I just rolled for you because it's in inventory, so sod it. Most refreshing. Uh, out of character, Skull Hat, you, we, did, we were giving you some of the um, divine wands and stuff that you said you wouldn't always have time to cast. Yeah. You might have uh, another person that might be able to cast them now. Oh. I mean, I suppose if Lortan would like to use one of the ones I have? Uh, let's see, what do I have? I'm Just as an idea, well. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you'll like this one, I think. Uh, a wand of spiritual weapon with eight charges left. You want me to make ah, it okay. That's the uh, that that's the uh, the, the the floating daggers. The flying, yeah, flying weapon. Mm -hmm. D eight plus caster level uh, per three. Okay. okay. Again, launch them at people. That's why I figured you might like it. Um, I in combat will not generally have a free hand for a wand as I fight with shield and uh, uh, shield and morning star. Figured. I also um, I usually actually have a free hand. This is why they tend to use the wands. Uh, all right, that's fine. I'll keep it for my own use then. The only other things I have would be healing stuff, so if you want to carry some healing things, I'm more than willing to give it to you, but it seems to be my job. And, and yeah, I don't think we need to start looting things now that are like worth two to five gold anymore. Uh, like, you know, like 20 pounds. We'll, we'll scoop their, you know, money pouches off them, but otherwise... They don't have any. If they have any money pouches or potions, we'll they grab those. none of the sort. Uh, okay, fuck them. Moving on. Mostly I was just looking for like they're uh, unholy symbols because those tend to be relatively valuable. They don't valuable. have any, which is unusual because the ones you fought before did. Yeah. That is yeah. weird. Oh, good. Flower's uh, actually doing just fine, so I think we're ready to go. Irabeth is watching Lortan for an answer. I didn't catch the question from Irabeth. Are you going to be accompanying us? Yeah, this one asked if you're coming. My charges appear to be in good hands, though. I believe I have the time. One would certainly hope with, with the city's end coming upon us. No hammer can strike in two places. We will see to this. Lead on. And on they will lead. Now, I will move everyone to loot and inventory for a moment. While you shift the map around? Maybe. He's doing secret GM things. I have to say, I still love the fact that we still have all the primies all over the place. Of course <laughs> we do. What is the marching order going to be now? Uh, we could technically include my wolf in this too. Yeah, let me get a look at what we got. Um, could I uh, please, uh, I don't know, 
Oh yeah, there's a marching order in here. Uh, front-wise. Um, uh, this is OOC, I guess, but uh, Lorten, what is your AC? Uh, your HP is pretty high, but AC... His AC is 19. He's pretty high. Uh, honestly, I might have Lorten in front with Ermengarde and Flower towards the front. Basically, Lorten should be about where I am, but a little bit ahead of me. There you go. That's a, that's a pretty good... Let's see. Ermengarde taking point... Flower right behind to take point when there's certain things. Okay. Honestly, it would make the most sense then to swap Anora and myself. Also, yeah, well, you do have uh, Nino in the back. Nino in the back would be the is a good call. Yes. Yep. Uh, my current wealth is seven fifty one point zero GP. And as one quick reminder, Nino has scent when that comes up, which makes the back an exceptionally good place for her. I know, that, that would, that's a great call. That's a, that's a perfect spot for Nino, or just as being... Yes, I, I know you also do, Helena, but um, you're not as expendable as a ranger pet. <laughs> <laughs> you also can't take as much hits as the yeah, dog. Yeah, the ranger pet literally has more health than you and AC. And me, even. Maybe not more AC, but more health. Well, my my uh, pet has armor. Like, literally, he's wearing armor. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, I think this is a really good marching order. Uh, the only thing that might change occasionally is Flower might take point over Ermengard for certain situations, but yeah, otherwise. Because we like sending Flower into obvious traps that are obvious. Also, what is way. the what is the nature of Flower, by the way? You don't know. For my out-of-character... Oh, out of character. Undead. I have Corpse Companion. Uh, I basically have Bloody this... Bloody skeleton, small... isn't it? Yep, yeah, no, it's a normal skeleton right now. Normal right, everyday skeleton. It's an L-skeleton, okay. if it matters. Come yes, out. it does for mine. Like you could tell. He told you. If you couldn't tell you, yes. you, I don't know if you could tell. No, no, she didn't. She couldn't tell other than it was weird because she's a ranger and can tell things aren't quite right. But besides yeah. that, eh. On your I mean, way, in character, you know that flower moves a little weird. On your way to the Grey Garrison, Irabeth does explain to Lorton in hushed tones of what exactly your goal is. The cultists and forces of demons are going to try and subvert the wardstone of Canabras, broken as it is, but they fear that anything they do through this wardstone will cause the collapse of the network of the others, which is the only thing keeping the world wound contained right now. And thus, your job is to go in with a rod of cancellation and thoroughly destroy it, thus keeping them from using its remains for any nefarious purposes. Which, for the record, who wants to be carrying that rod of cancellation? You have to be someone who can get in next to the wardstone and physically touch it. I vote Ermengarde. That's fine. Okay. She's both the fastest, but still fairly tough, so logic says. The monk will carry the rod. You can put it in Nidor's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just a dog with a stick. Don't give it to me, or this is going to turn into one of those two mile an hour sled escort missions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you approach the Gray Garrison. One moment. One moment. Now, the Grey Garrison is called the Grey Garrison because it is a squat, plain grey building for something that could conceivably be much fancier. Especially since before Canabras went to hell, it served as a museum. Since it was not strictly a defensible position anymore, Canabras is on the border, but, well, if they reached the Grey Garrison, they'd already lost all lines of defense. Mm hmm. It's a two-story building and a partial third floor, and that is just a single tower and room, essentially. And as you approach, I'm going to make one thing clear to everyone out of character. Mm -hmm. If you feel the need to retreat and regroup, that is an option in this scenario. This is not like a lot of encounters where you have to do it now. So if you feel like you need to back out, you can. Just there will be consequences for doing so. All right. No retreat. No surrender. We're not on a 10-minute timer. We're on a, like, hours timer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
maybe half a day. All right, I want to try and get this done the first time then. Mm. Uh, I will request that everyone stay somewhat close to me. I have things prepared that will benefit us. So, I think so. I wow, think those are horrifying. Yes. So, ahead of you, a large stretch of buckled ground and rubble stretches before the Grey Garrison, an aptly named structure that squats across from the open ground that once stood before the Cathedral of St. Clydewell. That cathedral is no more. Nothing remains but a towering mound of rubble and a deep, jagged rift in the ground. There are two hideously obese, naked men. They are not robed, as their pictures would love to have you think. So they are dwarves! I hate you so much. Armed with sights. If anyone please like to roll knowledge local or nobility, I will. Ability or local? I don't have those. I got religion. I thought that would be it. But... Uh, um, actually, you can I roll think... religion for one of those. <laughs> Did you, Goopsy? Nobody's succeeding so far. Uh, go ahead knowledge. and try religion. Alright. Okay, you could know one of them. I can find my token evil. in this, uh... I've got no, there we go. I've got some no arcane if that helps. It does not. Okay, Are they magic? Yeah. Okay, you both recognize one of the bloated corpses as Lord Holrun, once the leader of Canabras. Oh. Good. But hey, didn't we have a, a rumor about him? You did. But you'll have to open that page to see it again. <laughs> Lord Haroon was killed during the attack, and the demons have taken his body, uh, had him to have his body on display. Mm-hmm. That's what we have, was our rumor. That's technically true. I Indeed mean... it is. Yeah. Because your religion checks will also know that these are Vermlex. They are worm-like demons who wear dead bodies like they were armor. The worm is the demon. Kill the worm, the body will fall. Will you approach the demons? They see you and don't seem to be doing anything. I mean, I can shoot him from here, so... I mean, we it's can up to you. Request... Uh, I feel like they set off an alarm. They might be blind. Stand. No, they are watching you. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Well, yeah, if, if they seem... If they are content to watch us approach, let us make it a good one. I'm gonna bolt perception. Do your elf magical eyes happen to see anything magical in the area on, on top of that? I'm worried that there's other things. You smell brimstone and see auras in the ruined buildings to the left and right of you. Sorry. It's an ambush. Mm-hmm. Why am I not surprised? Well, I have a trick for that then. Uh, I say we set the ambush off, but in a way that favors mm-hmm. us. Someone circle around to the side? does sound the wisest. Uh, Luth, when you're the sneakiest of us, you're most likely able to perform that. I can send Flower in, deliberately trigger it, and then we just react to what they try. Very well. Uh, before we'll that happens, back though. Back to the right. Uh, if anyone leaves, though, I need to give out something, so how many minutes does this? I have four minutes to work with, so I mean, it's a, it's a lot of us. Uh, who needs it the fucking most? Well, I'm casting this spell, so everyone just knows. Okay. I have four minutes to work with. So, since the blue one's going off on her own, I give one minute to you. Anora's the most vulnerable. She gets a minute, at least two minutes. Uh, Lortan, you're more aggressive than I am. You're going to get a minute. And Ermengarde, you're going to need it as well. So, there. Okay. Luthwin, Anora, Lortan, uh, Ermengarde, you each have one minute of protection from evil with all the benefits that brings. Okay. And Luthwen, in the meanwhile, sneaks off. Do you bring uh, Nanor with you? That would be wise. You're gonna need backup. I mean, I can, but I'm worried she's she's not gonna be able to keep up with my stealthiness. It's your decision. Yeah, I guess so. I think you should uh, have a sneak with you, but not next to you. Like have it like 20 feet behind or so, so it's within easy like reinforcement range. But if it's caught, you're not caught. 
ガチャだけだよっていう話。Did you put a slash roll inside the script? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> Either way, she's probably fine. Yeah, I would think so. You hope so. You can get into the ruined building without seemingly being noticed. Your companion has snuck off. Are you going to continue forward? Ah,、uh, well, we're going to send the flower in to do the obvious trap thing. But yes, we will, I believe. The、so、flower will be, let's say, ten feet ahead. Lorton, if、uh, Lorton keeps pace with her. All right, that's your decision. Um, maybe as, ten feet in. Lorton will approach. <laughs> They will look at you and manage to speak in some strange, guttural voices. Have you come to turn yourselves over to Discari? Ah,、uh, do I recognize that name? Good question. Roll religion. Yes, sir. You were both aware. Discari is the demon lord of infestation and locusts, lord of the locust host, and usher of the apocalypse. Oops, sorry, didn't get the flower. Ah,、uh, Lortan, you have your closest, so go ahead and yep. Ah,、uh, one two. Ah,、uh, thinking about the correct response to that. Lotan comes here and no further. I think. Double check and measure. Yep. Arms wide, so as to look unthreatening. We are here to turn ourselves over to her judgment. Roll me knowledge religion. And bluff. <laughs> and bluff. Yes. <laughs> and bluff, you say? Yes. Unless、Because、you really do intend、that. to be fed to demons. No,、uh, he is.、Uh, he is only intending to get close enough for a for、uh, to, to get first uh, action. Uh, okay. To get in. I mean, that's a pretty good. If、bluff. that puts them off guard, then. Okay, you you did well enough on the knowledge religion roll to correct yourself to a he, because Discari、oh, yes. is said to be son of Pazuzu. Yes, carry on. They sort of pause, and you'd think that's what a worm would look like if it was puzzled. If you had any idea how worms are supposed to look. Truly. Eyes action. Burning hands. <laughs> Burning hands. His arms are spread out, and he just opens his hands to fire. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll. And what is your DC?、Uh, DC thirteen for ten fire damage. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. For burning hands, it's pretty good. Considering、yeah. the maximum is sixteen, I think that's good. Yeah, like I said, one takes the fire head on、yeah. from like number seven. But for, like know, one manages to dodge out of the way of some of it. And which of them is Lord Home Run? Uh, goddamn it, not Home Lord. Run. Lord, <laughs> I don't like Home Run. <laughs> number se- number home. seven is Lord、Thank、Home Run. Okay. okay. All run, okay. All run, yeah. Not home run. He's not the home、oh, run king. <laughs> Runs around with a baseball bat. He's famous for just roll、uh, initiative. And as you do that, things leap from the shadows, shedding their invisibility.
gonna say fire gun and okay one. Hmm? No, you're good. You'll be able to come in and not be. Demon goats. Yes. Uh, if you like to rule knowledge religion, I can tell you about them. Sure. I'm pretty sure the demon goats. So according to initiative order, Brimrak 2 would go. But Luthwen is ready with a surprise action, given to how she snuck around. Surprise, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So it depends on whether or not I can shoot him from here. You can. Yeah, you have a straight line. Do you have a straight shot? Okay, just checking. Okay, uh, for one thing, before we continue, would Lortan like to roll religion on these? Uh, sure, but it's... Uh, let's see here. I'm suspecting my luck it was going to run out soon. Hmm. Or not. No, it's still 19. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bramorax are demons born from the souls of arsonists. Mm hmm. They very, very, very much like fire. I reckon. Their burning hooves lift scorched prints everywhere. Anything that damages them to, to spill their blood, their blood is literally boiling and will burn you. They can make their weapons flaming freely. They can breathe smoke, which does uh, quite nasty things. But these Bramorak seem younger than what the typical would be. They're smaller than they should be. Hey. So, Luthwen. I do need to know, for a surprise round like this, um, will my wolf get the charge? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, Lufwin will fire. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you had more attacks. Oh, I assume uh, I only had one attack in the surprise Not round. for a standard action surprise round. Yeah. Can you not move, Nainor? Um, because it's, we're in initiative, and it's not Nainor's initiative turn. It's fine, just put Nainor right there. Uh-huh. Because that's a charge. Dwarf. Right, there you go. Hopefully that puts it out of the fight. I would hope so. That will hit, if barely. Yeah. It being flat-footed helps. Yeah. That Almost will take it out of the fight. There. Ha! Burf. We can ambush the ambushers. To be fair, it's not really burf, it's more snarl and, you know, chomp. Stop, stop, but... or, or. Flower. Alright, flower. Hmm. Well, Flower is... Let's see, we don't want these Grimorax going crazy. Uh, and you two can handle the front line, so yeah, Flower will just... plop herself there and try and deal with this one. Swat. That'll definitely whack it upside the head, but it's still standing. Mm-hmm. More burning hands? Uh, it's an option. I will grant. 
Um, I'll remind anyone uh, that they can order um, the Beth or when to what to act prior to end of round. We can just kind of leave them because uh, they'll be able to adapt to whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, when Dog is uh, using a bow there? Yes. Yeah, it's not 100% clear from the. They are oh, th those are arrows. Trainer. There we go. Yeah. Those look like. I, I don't know why, but I thought those were reeds, not arrows stuck in the ground in front. Anyway. Kind of do look like reeds, yeah. Um. Uh, which of these two Vermlex looks more injured? Seven. Yes, seven. All right, uh, Lord Ton will draw his uh, draw his mace and admonishing Ray. I'm not familiar with that spell. Uh, basically, a punch, laser punch. Uh, admonishing Ray. Uh, a bull. Oh, hold on. I need to double check a Pathfinder thing because I don't remember. I'm pretty sure these Devil are keep these are demons, not undead, right? Yeah, correct. So sure they're not can. immune to non-lethal force. Yeah, unless they are not. yeah, unless like the whole is... demons are not, but individual ones might be. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So uh, touch attack. I reckon. Pretty sure that's gonna hit. I'm curious as to why you're doing non-lethal damage, but alright. Uh, Admonishing Ray is one of those particular spells that's literally, a, I call it the Force Punch, because it's a ray of just really large non-lethal damage. And because non-lethal and lethal do stack, uh, mm -hmm. they do stack for the purposes of rendering somebody out of the fight. Mm -hmm. So. Correct. It's still very useful. It does have a few weaknesses, but it hits really hard for its size category because it's not lethal. Well, there's no saving throw, and you have hit. Yeah. It's a good spell. See? And it deals decent damage. Mm -hmm. what is, how does uh, non-lethal and lethal stack? As so soon when, as... yeah, when, when the total amount of lethal and non-lethal has exceeded base HP, then the creature falls unconscious. Okay. They are and not down once... yet. And once they have taken their their max HP worth in non-lethal damage, further non-lethal damage is applied as lethal instead. Mm -hmm. To be more specific, when your non-lethal damage equals your current hit points, you're staggered. If it exceeds your current hit points, you're unconscious. And when it hits double, it starts doing lethal. Uh, no, when it when it's exceeding. Oh, okay. When it does succeed, okay. Okay. Well, it's Vermlek Seven's turn, who will stagger forward and cast Mass Inflict Light Wounds. I'm happy here. Who are the target? Uh, I think it's just an area. I don't know if you can pick Mass targets. Is, uh, yeah. It's like a fireball with negative energy. I'm pretty sure it's targeted. Mm. You choose a number Blood of targets per level. Yeah. Yeah. That's a will save. The half. Yes. Yes. Pretty sure. But he needs to tell us what the target is. Who's hit? Okay, so he's got how many targets? I really hope he goes for a flower, because that will make me laugh. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if he knows what flower is. He'd have to make a knowledge check. He would, yep. He has three targets, so he will not be going to flower. He is targeting Ermengarde, Lortan, and the other Vermlek, because this damage does indeed heal them. Seems so reasonable. How dare you. <laughs> I'm probably good for half. Uh, remember you... Oh, are you one of the... Uh, no, Ermengarde doesn't have the one of the proc, does they? Do they? Mm. 
-hmm. We all have different destinies. Uh, they're particular the, between the us. Protection, protection from, from evil. evil. The protection yes. from evil you spread around, Tajra. Uh -huh. She has one, so she has another two, but she's saved anyway. Okay. Uh, and I've also got a plus two on this. So, because uh, of proc for evil. Yep. Unfortunately, you will still fail. Darn. Oh. So the DC is higher than 13. Bastards. So Lord Tom will take the full damage, and Ermengarde will take half. Rounding down. You're blowing into the Try not to. It's okay. And the Bramorak goes, and it has a nice big target right in front of it. So it's just going to swing at Flower with its burning longsword. Oh god, its longsword's covered in hepatitis. It's okay, Flower's undead. What's Flower's AC? 22. Both times it will miss. Clang, clang. Honora. Okay. Focus on the Vermlex. Yeah, this one is badly uh, damaged, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Would that count as a straight line for charge purposes? Uh, no, there's too many eyes in the way, I think. I, think. I mean, that particular route is clear. Yeah, that is a straight line. Yeah, that's yeah, a straight that's... line by Pathfinder rules. Yeah, fair enough. Okie dokie. Yeah, things look weird when you go diagonals. Yeah. yeah. So, charge gets a plus two. Yep. Nice. And second call. Nope. No, charge, not a charge. attack. But that will send the verb blank down into unconsciousness. Good. However, inflict light wounds might wake it up. Yeah, yes. so we need to bring the other one down. Unfortunately, it's its turn. Damn. <laughs> Luckily for you, demons have no sense of camaraderie. Yeah. It's true. Where are you going, smartass? Going to cast Inflict Light Wounds on Anora, Ermengarde, and Irabeth. Uh, I'm definitely okay. Yeah. And two, okay, they're fine then. And Irabeth is fine. Alright. So you take three. That one sucks three. You didn't take half earlier, my guard. Oh, my bad. I thought you were doing it. Yeah, but usually you I, yeah, damage. Yeah, I usually do. That's my bad. Uh, okay, so yeah, you're going to take uh, eight right now. Okay. Ermengarde. Step this way. And honestly, I want to grapple the thing. You always want Super to grapple. Act. That is it kind just, of her. It's better than attacking for me. Grab it. it it's especially useful against casters. Because I think of... I'm good. Yes, yeah. you have grabbed it. Just put it in a headlock. It's very squirmy and clammy in your grasp. Mood. Sorry, waifu. Who's <laughs> <laughs> one? If you like, you could wait until after your um, wolf to then have a clear shot on that Vermlark. Consider we act at the same time. What? No real reason why not. Yep. So I guess put Bow Wow there. I guess. There you go. Just so she has a free shot. Yep. And that leaves your Beth open to flank. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I don't believe that will hit. Probably not. No, it will not. Sad dwarf. That's why I have rapid fire. Mm-hmm. Well, you've been rolling hot all night, so. That it is at minus lodge. four decks, so. That will mm-hmm. launch an arrow in it. Huh? But it's Gain. still up. Still struggling. Tazrak. Hmm. So don't be uh, using negative energy on it. Right, they're healed by that, bastards. That one you could probably use out, though. Probably. But I have other tools. Alright, I'm going to take out the uh, Wand of Spiritual Weapon and use it. Use the charge. Okay. So, a uh, weapon made of force appears. Poof. Um... Uh, continue. It strikes the opponent you designate, so it is going to have an attack immediately. Okay. Just to, for me to reassign it, I have to use an action. Uh, it's going to stab the noodles out of this Bimorak. Okie dokie. I believe it's... Let me just see if I can figure out how its attack works. Base attack bonus, uh, plus your wisdom modifier as its attack bonus. So it's like a wisdom attack. Okay, I can work with that. So at five... So 18 hit the mark. Yes, it does. All right. Uh, hit D. I think it's just a yeah D8 force plus one per three caster levels, so just one for me. So D8 plus one. And it strikes as a spell, not a weapon, so DR doesn't work against it. Yep, which is good. Bonk. The Remora goes down. Good. Yep. A uh, Warhammer is conjured into the air and goes hurling it to his head. Which is good for you, because Warhammer are nasty. Now, mm-hmm. at the end of the round, Irabeth will stride forward, radiance in hand. She rolls an 8, but still hits it, because she's a plus 12 to her attack. Hmm. And it's at minus 4 dex. Mm-hmm. She has power attack now at the time. <laughs> I'll soon swing this thing out of existence. And she slices open its belly, revealing a worm within that is then stabbed. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so then do I probably just move and coup de grace this thing? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, all told, that went really well. Yeah. It was only four things. Yeah, don't get too cocky. There's going to be more inside. It was, it was four things, and we got to jump on one of them to insta kill it. Mm hmm. Uh, reform and hit keep going is just immediately. Perf. Um, how much does a potion of cure light? Uh, D8 plus one. I'll pass you out if you want one. I've got several. Uh, I have, I have one. Okay. Uh, Anora, do you need a heal potion? No, I only took three HP damage. Okay. Uh, what time? How about you? Oh, yeah, you've got some missing health. Uh, here. Actually. Your... Um, I will take one, because I only have one, apparently. I don't want to... Yeah, I, we have one on everyone um, for emergencies, and then he has yeah. most of them. Yeah, I, I'll use... Yeah, go ahead and heal yourself. In our, uh, or, yeah. Ermagard healed herself. We're good. Uh, Lortan, uh, here's a cure moderate wound charge off this wand, so I'll just roll for you. Thank you. Uh, you got 13 health back for Lortan, and that should cover everyone who got hurt. Uh, reform formation, uh, breaching clear. Oh, I don't think he's been here for our breaching clear maneuver. 
He'll like this. Are we not checking the perimeter? We should. We should, but I don't know if we have the... Yeah, it's... We have time. We know we have time. Yeah, okay, fair, fair, fair. Check the perimeter. This side seems to be clear. Me and uh, Flower will hold this door. In case it... <sighs> we were about to when to walk report from the other side that it seems clear. Are you going to check the upper levels of the building? There are no landings of any sort, but... There are windows if you want to try and find an alternate way in. We I could, I suppose, but it'd be difficult for most of us to get in there. Um... I could climb up there, find somewhere to tie off a rope. Ah, but you'd be alone in there for a while, and you're, um... Squish. Where the windows? Age armor helps, but... What was the question? Uh, where are the windows at? Uh, second level Rolling in... Reception. Yeah. It's, it's an idea, at all, but it's risky just because you'd be alone climbing. None of us can... There... Like it up. Hold on a moment, I need a more detailed... Well, it's not that alone, it's only a two-story building, but... Also... Two stories above ground. Maybe not right now, um, because we're in the middle of something, but... These two need to have a proper burial and not have demons in their bodies. No, we should... You can oh. take care of that. I 100% want to take care of that, but priorities, we need to get it's this right done, now. and then no. Yeah, you are... How about, we, um, how about you give them a prayer and set them on fire? I can do that while you guys are inspecting. That way the bodies aren't taken over again or something. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Luth one. You recognize an aspect of this building. This was once a place where crusaders sent messages to other cities, and thus there were carrier pigeons kept in the building. There is an airy with an entrance to the outside. Hello. However, However, it is a floor up. I actually have decent climb skill. If you and Anora want to try for it. I can give you try a boost. first. I know Anora can just um, scramble up without even testing. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a boost. That counts as um, assisting, right? I would think so. I suppose, How? sure. Is eight another just roll the check, and if I beat the DC, you or... And or higher, you, you eight. Yep, and they get a plus two on their attempt. Yeah. Who's is that just a raw um, If you don't have any... Um... If I'm you don't have any climb show, there. My climb modifier is 10, so I can't fail. All right, then. You just help. Well, your climb modifier is 10. Why are you doing this? You wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't speaking up. <laughs> Jesus. What? Monk, climb. What's your climb modifier? Mine's plus, um, plus five because I've got um, a ring that gives me a bonus. But Give the ring to freaking Ermengarde and climb the thing. Yeah, seriously. Take my okay. ring for five seconds. It gets a plus five bonus. Climb the goddamn thing and then a rope. And take an aura with you. Yeah, and then an aura can go with you. So add five to that roll. You can indeed climb. Okay. However, on reaching the area you are being pointed towards, you find that the window is barred from the inside. You could force it open, but it will be quite loud. I will try to and call this down not too loud, just loud enough to be heard. Does anyone have like a knock spell? It's I not locked, someone. it's barred from the inside. Falcon Punch. Do we have a mage it's hand? A strength, uh, strength check. But we have a white hand. Barred like how? Like like there are planks pushed against it. Something is holding, holding it, it shut. shut. It's so it's like nailed in place or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ermengarde could most likely break it, but it would be noisy. But it is still a way in that it's not the front door. That will most likely be watched. <laughs> I mean, to be blunt, we've made a lot of noise. They probably already have, yeah. Do you want to try and bring people up here before we do that? There's... You have to the rope now. Them. You have to There's like a the rope right? or something. There's no, uh, no la yeah. landing or anything up there. No. Okay. I 
I say we, um... Okay, so the corpses are handled? Yeah. They're burning. Well, okay. I used I used lore burial rites and lore tamper I the spark. Okay, I, I just so. want to make sure that because I don't want to break open the window till we're done down here. Yeah, short mm -hmm. of magic is the best we're gonna do. Like me casting a hollow or some crap. Hollow. Hollow is a very different spell. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, well, hello. I think they've already been hollowed out by the worm things. <laughs> I will point mm -hmm. out one thing. If you do mm -hmm. find a way to enter enter from the airy. You'll be leaving a lot of cultists downstairs. Mm -hmm. But then we have the high ground. Anakin can never win. <laughs> I'm just pointing things out. I think me and Lortan, because even with a rope, I don't think I can actually climb that thing. Um, Ropes me... are huge bonuses, though. Mm -hmm. uh, me, Lortan, and Flower will, and the other two, uh, Arabeth and Windark, will take the front area because we have the most um, AOE potential. We can plow through a lot of lesser targets fairly quickly. Uh, while you guys take the top row, if we, if you need to, okay. you can always head down to assist us. This but is this a large is a large building. Thing. Splitting the party is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we're going to keep going after we take care of the bottom floor. I'm going to see what happens after. Them. No, we either need to go up. Or don't go up. This place. Is I personally say go up. And that leaves too many cultists on the bottom floor. They can easily either escape. No, no. We will. Well, if they escape, who cares? We're here on a mission. Fair enough. I will point out they have been using this as a headquarters for investigating the bottom floor before they may clear out. Mm. Unless just... they can fly, they have to come out here. Well, what he's saying is there might be, like, I don't know, important documents to recover or something on the bottom floor. Uh-huh. Well, the counterpoint to taking going straight in the bottom floor is if there's a second floor, then we're fighting people coming up from the basement and above us. There is no basement. You know, you that, know that fact. Oh, fact. okay. You said bottom, and I just assumed there's something beside the ground floor. No. There is one floor here, the ground floor. One above it, and then one that is just a tower where the wardstone is held. What the hell are we doing? Holy fuck! God, I just realized what it was for after all this time. So you remember how we've been picking up nothing but invisibility potions up the ass for like I don't know ever. Yeah, we have quite a few. Why don't we start using some of them to send Ermin Guard at the very least, or sorry, uh, Luthwin at the very least? Through the top entrance, because you'll be freaking visible, to sneak around behind them so when we go through the front area, we can ambush them again. Yeah, well, but we need to break the window. Kind of noise. Well, yeah, is that. I mean, at that point, why don't we just open the door, all drink invisibility potions, and go running in there buck naked? Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. I mean, that might actually pull it off. Not that they can see invisibility. But they probably can. They're, most of them are demons. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't mean they can see invisibility. Well, it's can. not. Is that too? Yeah. Seeing invisibility is not an innate human ability. Some individuals might have it. Yeah, so it's a pretty big advantage to just walk in invisible because whatever ambush they have won't work against invisible targets 90% of the time. I, whatever. Like, I mean, okay, if you want to go through the bottom, and I guess we can go through the bottom. Okay. It I just feels like the, best decision, like the best decision. No, yeah, I, I just refuse. I think splitting the party is a, I'd rather go through the bottom than split up. Because, right, like, for instance, against these four, we needed everyone to clear them out without taking major damage. Mm -hmm. If there's any, if it's even the same size group, we're going to take more significant losses um, fighting mm -hmm. with just half the group. All right, so uh, how many invisibility potions do we actually have? I think I'm carrying two. I mean, I think they're going to notice when the door opens, though. I have one also. Yeah, but certain individuals should be invisible. Like, Flower isn't going to be invisible because, of course not. But, like, they give them a target, but don't let them realize exactly how many targets are going to be rushing them. Well, Anara should be invisible. I probably shouldn't bother because I'm going to break it instantly. Yeah, you're going to be sneaky anyway. Uh, here's what I'll do. Uh, I'll have one, Lortan, Anora. Let's all three have visibility potions on us because we're the ones who have the AoE, so we need to position ourselves to usually them well. Sound okay. good, everyone? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Lortan, you can have my spare invisibility potion. So am I giving up mine? I just need to know what... Oh, no, I just love yours. I have a spare. Right, Am uh, I using mine or no? 
Uh, you can if you want to. I think we're good, though. The people who need to be invisible are the people who need to position themselves for good, you know, uh, AoE hits. Up it's, to you if you want to be. It's per minute or until we do something hostile, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and that's only... And hostile is nice and lenient. So if you have mm -hmm. battlefield control, you can just do whatever. So murderous command, for example, will be just fine, I think. Uh, no. Oh, no, you're right, because it... Never mind. But, like, if you had grease or something, you could totally throw that down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have several buffs that I could do, but uh, we'll get to that. So uh, get ready to breach and clear. We'll drink our invisibility potions and see what happens when Flower pokes her head in. So invisibility is a uh, spell level two. That means it lasts three minutes because it's at the uh, minimum caster level. Yep. Yes. Unfortunately, your, your protection from evil has faded because it only lasts a minute. And we so to recap over all minute. the jumble that happened, are you opening the door first or drinking the potions first? Uh, potions first, then door. Then flowers opening the door? Mm-hmm. How many potions do you have? We're using one on Anora, one on Lortan, one on myself. I had two. I'm using both, one for me, one for Lortan. Anora had her own, and I don't know if I'm using anything. I'm not. Okay, we're good. Is Lucifer so using any? No, she's not. She's already going to be in the back enough that... Mm. Actually, she's going to back up a little bit more because she doesn't want to hit like a fireball. She has a long-ass bow these days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you three are invisible. Poof. 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 Cool. Poof. God, it tastes like it. <laughs> it tastes it, like Anora. Ew. It tastes like invisible. I can't see the taste. <laughs> you open the, the door. Hey, look. Tieflings. Tieflings. Another evoker. Indeed. They see you immediately, of course. Mm -hmm. And roll initiative. Same rolls last time. Keep rolling crap. He's the same exact roll for me. What the hell? This is just Not another me. comment. It's even down to the point oh six. Well, the point oh six is your bonus, not your. Mm -hmm. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, okay. Other groups. Okay. And might want to switch Nora and Lortan's places. I'm sorry, but might might want to switch Nora and Lortan's places on initiative. Yeah. Uh, you invisible people hmm. can uh, take an action before the round starts here. Probably want to move inside. Pretty much. Uh, standard action, I assume. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, give someone initiative to do it then. Alright, Manor, you first. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I have no idea what I'm doing. Help! No. You will, it's your full movement speed, probably, and you just want to get... Cause remember, these people are probably going to come forward and try to attack us. So. so don't be in their way to get bumped into. So get like over here or something, like somewhere Yeah, they're out of the way. That yeah, if we have a good position. Yeah, because they're going to rush forward to the door, and you can just hit him in the back with the color. Flashbang! Uh, take the other corner, I guess. <laughs> mm, can't quite make it, but... God, you're slow. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm five foot tall and made of a thousand boulders. <laughs> Um, yeah, that'll mostly do, actually, on the... Great, now I'm just imagine you sound like the guy from 4 Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm thinking the same thing. I guess that's as far as I can get as well. Okay, then we're on to actual initiative. Honora, you're first. Will you do anything, or wait until the enemies have acted? I'm gonna wait. Wait until exactly when? Um... Can she also just like, keep her on what her condition head? are you going to uh, are you going to take some action? Or are you just going to hold the, for the whole round? I think 
Hmm, hold for the whole round or wait until after the tieflings go? Probably the tieflings. Yeah. Waiting until after the tieflings. So, the Cult of Ochre. We'll not be casting Fireball, as I'm sure you're happy to hear. Thank you. That depends. You might have something worse. <laughs> <laughs> Chain lightning. Shit. Well, the good chain lightning, you need to actually know the target. So if invisible, you can't chain lightning to invisible shit. No, he's actually going to cast a buff on himself. More massives. If anyone would like to, uh... I forget if it's Knowledge Arcane or Spellcraft to identify a spell. I kind of have a little... Uh, it is Spellcraft uh, to identify a spell as it is being cast. The DC is 15 plus the spell level. I don't I'd like that. to roll that then. I can't see him. Yeah. Yep. I I cannot see him. Neither can I actually. So, yeah, he's actually, just... I can't see him, so that probably doesn't matter. Yep. Okay. He you... casts a spell of some sort, and that's all he does. Too bad. And then I hear magic mumbling from the adjacent room. Yes. Oh, so well, oh, yes, well. There are no visible effects of the magic? Not that you can see right now. Okay. Flower. I don't know flowers gonna go flower things. Charge? Yeah, no, Greek them with flowery out. language. Pretty much just charge. Flower's gonna kick some ass. It's flower. Actually, not charge. Uh, that's a bad idea. It's an. A uh, flower will just position herself room. there. How about you just delay flower until they're in the room? Yeah, that's probably the best thing. I'll delay flower until the tieflings get inside. You tieflings get Delay until room. after. Okay. Tieflings, yeah. Well, I was going to say after uh, Anora or after me. Yeah, after Anora then. The t legs. Ah, your body just. <laughs> ah. Ah. One tries to run into Tazrak's spot and uh, runs into Tazrak. Oh. Huh? What the hell? Are what? What sorcery is this? You want, mate? Yeah, what? Swear on me, mum. But two of them will get the swing at Ermengarde, and one will get the swing at Flower. Hmm. That footage is 14. They are carrying short swords. Stab blades of knife. Both of them will miss Ermengarde. Oh, but that one will actually hit Flower. Ah, uh, not 20? Not even, 19. Hmm. Still pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's a piercing and or slashing, so she's going to get her DR. Which means it does literally right. nothing. Plunk. Yes. She may have low Flora. HP, but she's really hard to hit. Well, don't flashbang me, please, but otherwise do what you want. Do it. Flashbang him. No. I'll flashbang him. No. Probably will resist it. No. You don't probably will. And even if you don't, you have more hit dice. Yeah. Still not a, a, a risk we need to take. How do I get rid of this thing that I just placed? Uh, use that? shift and redraw it to erase it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to five foot step. Okay, as you do. You could suddenly see into the other room, when before you couldn't, which doesn't make much sense, but since the tieflings ran out, now you can. Oh, look. A splurg. A splurg. Um, okay. Flashbang is still probably the best call. Then again, it's up to you. 15 foot cone that somehow looks like that. Don't question the cone. I am questioning the cone! How dare you! Catching three of them. Alright. You're casting color spray? Yep, as soon as it lets me. Just as a heads up, you do know you have your full range of movement before you cast because you're invisible, right? Shh. So you if might you be able to catch it. more than that. If yeah. you pop yourself here, It'll hit this one, this one, and then all three of these. 
So I'll just finish casting this, but let's just hold off on that for the moment. Okay. Because your mage armor is so still up. So what was not... the place you were pointing at? If you stand here, you can aim it south and hit a lot. Look straight south. Kind of. Just remember, cones are from a vertex. Mm. Yeah, I believe you should pick this corner should do it. it. She can hit any two of the south ones. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm just saying she could get more. One more, but more is more. But I get you in this cone as well. You don't know he's there. That's actually yes. weirdly yes. true. Yeah, it's actually weirdly true. I mean, you saw them bump into something, though, on the other hand. I'm going to do this. Just that, do you might as well... I'm a cat. Meow. So, yeah, I cast something. Color Spray. And let's see, what is the Color DC? Hmm? What was that, Kaylee? You don't know he's there. Yes, DC we... is 15. That'd be the one you'd want to use. Mm -hmm. What's up? That. If you don't know I'm here, that's the one you want to use to hit as many targets as possible. That way you Ah. Uh, okay, let's go with that. Yep. Mm. DC 15, you said? DC will, go 15. ahead and roll, Tazrak. Uh, will, correct? Yep. Will. Yep, there we go. Yep. Woo! Oh! Congratulations, you've just stunned and blinded me. Oh no! You're at the upper limit of what it can affect, though, so. It's yeah, but that's still D4 of stunned and blinded and a dead and a stun for another round. You were stunned and blinded for four rounds. Yeah, Ouch. I'm out of this combat. Which does suck, yeah. I'm invisible, but I'm just out of this combat. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, she can't see you. I know, it's just. Ugh. It is real dark. You're so prone now. Mm hmm. Damn, I'm already on it. Well, I guess the, I haven't done these markers in so damn long. State, here it is. So! All the tieflings of their hand are unconscious, stunned, and blinded for four rounds. Woo! Woo! Alright. Good day, cross those fuckers. Yeah, to start. There's still a. Evoker over there's there. There's still one, and there's a an evoker. I know, but Flower can't reach the one that's still up, and the evoker's mm -hmm. too far away. So just yeah, cross it. That. Uh, there's so also it's Flower's turn, mark. I believe, at this point, right? Yes, it is Flower's turn. Uh, Flower will just swat the first one. We should just come in here. Uh, double that because it's critical automatically and the DC will be 14 plus 10 so 27 fortitude save to not just die for tiefling number 6 dead okay uh, then they're, uh, they're all mean, unconscious I said first. pretty much just, ooh. it's a full round action to yeah oh, you can right still 5 foot step yeah you yes because it's a free action and you can five foot step as long as um, you, you take no other, other move action that round. No, and there's no other need... restriction. Herman Guard. Yep. I'm going to grapple the one that's still up. Uh, I need to select the I will point out that you are in nice fireball range now because the cat is no longer invisible. Mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. Yep. All right. Luthwen. Man, there's a lot of unconscious people in front of me. Yep. Well, they're on the ground, so, you know, they're on the way of your shots. No, but there's nothing else to shoot at except for... The one in the guard's hands, I guess. Nah, I, I think I'm just going to start taking these out because they're actually blocking movement. Mm -hmm. They are... Laying there, they are difficult to rain. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna take shoot at this one. Sure. 
Uh, I'm looking at the rules. You can't coup de grace with a bow or crossbow unless you're adjacent. Oh, great. You can he's just thrown, so he gets bonuses. I'm going to point out that they're tieflings. You can just still shoot them and probably kill them. Uh -huh. You can just book it in there and just get to position. Because they can't ALO and it's I'm not... It's difficult terrain. Well, neither well, not Flower or me. You have a straight shot inside. Because that guy's dead. Flower's just there. So you could so you could just straight move inside. Or send your dog in to go bore fit things. Or both. I have no easy 30 foot movement initially to actually move in there. Where then she could decide where the hell she's going next. Because it ends up standing on top of someone. Uh, no, you could, uh. There. Take some, that's 35. Yeah, so take some I better took a position. Five foot already, so I'm uh, actually not here. Oh. Uh, there. Okay, that explains it. Never mind then. Just shoot yeah, one of them and then move as much as you can. Or move as much yeah. as you can. Yeah, yeah screw it, actually. Mm -hmm. Shoot the guy? Pretty much. Because uh, this guy's him? on the floor, so he's not providing soft cover anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just shoot Tiefling 1. Not the Evoker? I oh, wait, I, no, I can see the Evoker. Oh, yeah. nice. And oh, this nice. guy's on the floor, he's not providing soft cover. Shoot his face. No, he's human. He, they're hu uh, the tieflings are not the evoker. Is. Right, but I'm shooting the I'm shooting the evoker. He is human. The evoker. I keep thinking it's a Dota hero. Mm. Evoker down. Not bad. Okay. If it did well, died. Both tend to hit hard. Mm. No, not just that. You've been rolling well. That will hit. And one moment. Yeah, it's actually 13 is max damage. Nice. So, yeah, I've been getting that a few times today. Mm-hmm. Hitting like a truck. Your arrow flies forward, strikes him in the shoulder, and then it separates from him and shatters into pieces. And the evoker is still standing there with no arrow in his shoulder. I'm confused. Can I roll spellcraft on this? Yes, you yes. can. Mirror image? I don't know. No, mirror image had a different effect than that. Yeah, I know. Eek. But no, I'm flavoring it. Yes, it's mirror image. Oh, he hasn't, he hasn't moved. moved. Yeah. See? It's all the mirror images standing in the same spot because he hasn't done anything. Alright then. Nanor? You can either have finish things or. Right? Yeah, you can just chew on one. Not a good across. But... Yeah, I didn't say good across. Just chew on one. Just nom nom nom. That's awkward. Um, at some point, give me vision from him, I guess, because oh, wow. I can't do anything. You, you should. I can't see, because I know there's someone over there, but I can't see it. Because he's tagged as an NPC, but yeah, also because the room hadn't been revealed. Thank you. Either way, he'll be nom nom. Do you have vision now? Okay. <laughs> of I mean, he is prone. He's yeah, helpless. Unconscious. Yeah, he's unconscious, actually. You just hit. Technically, I think the uh, the, the the AC is still five. Yeah, yeah it might yes. still be five, but yeah. He's dead. Well, there Oh. Terror. 
Lortan, you are still invisible. Okay. Uh, looking at this field of sleeping half-demons in front of me. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to here and look into this room. Oh, look, a Vermlech. Uh-huh. Uh, could I have revealed vision, please? There's bits and pieces still hanging that about. That should have revealed all the vision that you are able to see at the moment. Is it oh, there appear to be some little uh, fragments of... Uh, yeah, I've got that too. It's like obfuscation. for some reason. Strange. Uh, it's, it looks like just a drawing artifact. There's a, a little uh, two by three pixel fragment uh, just just to the east of me. see it? I see it. I can't get rid of it. Uh, you're using a, uh, a VBL tool to erase a region around it? Yep. That's weird. Okay, now it's gone. Now if you tap revealing it, there we go. Yay! Okay. Um, and I will... Let's see here. That was... I've... I will casually walk around to the side of the Vermlick. This does appear to be the corpse of some sort of priest, by the way. Is this Spider-Man? And introduce him to the business end of my morning star. Is there a casual end, too? <laughs> well, one end has a sock on it. Ah. So, versus his flat-footed... So your Morning don't... Star doesn't have a bullet? Ha. Mm hmm This is not a casual Friday's Morning Star. <laughs> wow, the rhythm. Wump. We need one second, sorry. Yep. say how about them uh, local sports team, but I don't, other than uh, Ian and Kaylee, I don't think any of us are in the same town as another. Indeed. Okay, so I need a recap. What are you doing? I uh, noticed this firm luck, walked around to his side, and introduced him to my morning star. Yes, you have bludgeoned it upside the worm head. But it still stands to uh, threaten you. That's fine. So speaking of... Feel free to drop my invis. Yes, give me just a moment. It is just going to pull a long sword from its side and slash at you. Okay. AC 90. It crit. Uh, of course it did. Because what else would it do? How'd the confirm do? Yeah, it confirmed.
Could have been worse. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Tazrak is stunned and blinded. Yeah. The Evoker has more targets. And a bunch of sleeping tieflings. Uh, but what? it is now aware that there are a group of invisible people here. So it is going to move forward, throw his arms out. Murder your friends. No, he's not murdering his friends. Darn you. <laughs> and then he just says, because you're not his friends. <laughs> yes. He wants to be certain of something. He casts Reveal Invisibility and suddenly a dozen ninjas appear. No, yeah. he casts Glitter Dust. Yeah. Sparkle, uh, sparkle, sparkle. Tazbrak is so sparkly. Tazbrak is I, super sparkly. I don't know if I got a save or not. Or, no. Glitter Dust has no save. Oh, right, here's sparkly time. No, no it does. Sparkly. It has will to negate the blinding. Well, I'm already blind. Yeah, you're blinded <laughs> already. Uh, Anora, okay. give me a will save. I'll need one for Flower as well. She can't. Fit. I don't know. It's not mind affecting. Fair enough. Uh, we'll save then. You're both very sparkly, but you can see just fine. Flower sparkles with a thousand diamonds. Put those back. No. Should we call her Lucy and put her in the sky? Oh my God! The tieflings are still unconscious. Anora, oh, no. No. Uh, what did you say? Katie? Oh wait, sorry. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Hmm? Irabeth. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a free shot. That's one's dead one, so you can just keep those yeah. And she will stab one of the tieflings and murder it. Shit. Dead. And Wendwog will run up just the same, but is unable to do anything else with her action, so she'll just end up in the corner ready to shoot next time. Now, Honora. I think she's eyeing my wolf to eat. Consume. Kill. Stab. I don't know what I should do. Yes! Charge it! Just glittering cat. Oh, nice. Okay. Does it confirm? Give me a moment. I have no idea. It might just hit a mirror image anyway. That too. It might. If it doesn't hit a mirror image, it will confirm. Oh, neat. My terror saw that. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it hits. Because nice. blood goes yeah. everywhere. But he's still standing. Jeez. If the arrow had hit him properly, probably would be dead. Yes. Flower. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's a route flower can take. Fine. Well, it's no, not there is. so much you, it's just, um, there's not too much. She uh, can't move right that fast. It's yeah, just flower. Unconscious teeth points are being annoying. Hello, Vermlek. I am flower. Bash. Thug. <laughs> Still standing, but it's definitely looking woozy. Yeah, it's caught between two we morning stars. We need to stars. give you uh, a morning star for her that's just in the shape of a rose. I like to think it is. I don't care what it was when I got it. It is now. Hey, Government Guard, you're holding a tiefling. Yep. And stop piercing me down because is every it? rose has a thorn. Yes. Uh, shut up. <laughs> uh, oops. So yeah. I will be um, power attacking for my um, grapple maneuver because I'm just going to try and damage it. Probably still good. Oh, because there's also a plus five. That's yeah, you're good. Maintain the grapple. So what, you're okay. pinning it or? No, I'm attacking. Power okay. attacking. Uh, ignore the hit roll, it's just going to be damage. So, one damage. Uh, power attack is... Um, oh, no, one to one unless you shoot a two-handed weapon. Yeah, but she's not, so... One to one. 
four are you? Okay. Eleven. Down he goes. How do you kill it? Uh, bitch slap. <laughs> you backhanded so hard, so I just... And five foot down. Please send that to back. No, you're a tiefling now. Yeah. <laughs> Luthwen. Oh, Plenty of room to get in shoot. I'm gonna have to actually move again. That's mm -hmm. annoying. Like, uh, welcome to D&D. &D. There, now I can just see everything. Mm -hmm. Pick a target, start putting the arrows in it. You can shoot either of them, just have cover. The invoker seems to be more dangerous, but I don't know. Does have better defenses? Actually, you have full range of movement, right? If you can hear, I think you can shoot at least the evoker without, uh... I think. Yeah... No. I like that there. Does she count as cover? Sorry, who? She's a big girl. Well, you have enough movement to get here, right? Does she count as cover? Yeah, I was gonna ask if Arabeth counts as cover. But... For the evoker? But, uh... Yeah. No, but an aura would. How about For here? For where you're standing right now? Uh. No, actually, you could probably make that. Actually, why don't I just stand here? Pretty much. Alright, shoot, evoker. Pew. Pew. Now it's just a hit. And a mirror mirrors. image dissolves. Oh. Damn it. Yep. It happens. It's a really too many left. Nainor. Send the dog in. Borf, 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 borf. <laughs> You're run out of fucking images eventually. Oh, oh, that that was like that. <laughs> she's, she's just not good at her job. Floor 10. Uh, Back a bitch. Five foot step there and just flank and proceed to just. I'm sure you can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, give, give him a quarter second further, uh, yes. Uh, plus, it's plus two for flank? Yeah. Right. Yes. Darn. Uh, let's see here. Anything I'd like to do as a move um, swift here? Yep. Bash. Oh. Well. Oh, oh. This one is not Bit wearing armor. AC. Oh, uh, well, the, the ones outside were naked, too. But. Yes, but they were also tougher. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, horrible AC. Okay. Uh, and uh, just a moment. Oh, sorry. He still has his move in swift action. Mm -hmm. Double check in here. Uh, what is this room? What What is about it? I was going to give you a description when combat is over. Do you want it now? Uh, at least a brief summary. That looks like a sacrificial altar. And I'm worried that those are two doors. Yeah, those are. Those are two doors, yes. And uh, this seems to have once been a shrine, but it's now been defiled in ways that, that will be described to you further shortly. Okay. Yeah, just the just at a glance level of the room. Okay. Um check. Oh, and that actually takes a full action. Alright. Uh yep, yeah, I'm good then. Carry on. Tezrak is uh blinded and stunned. Yep. The Evoker is going to try and cast something. Anora, swing at him. Okay. Did you wolf get to it, too? Yes, but I'm letting Anora go first. Okay, just making sure. Nope. That's a nothing. Dog, save the day. Damn, Damn it, puppy. I can clean better. Dog, why? <laughs> uh, this is why dogs and cats aren't party members. No, this is why I'm taking the immediate thing that gets it out of level one the moment I get it. Yeah. That's the thing, it's a level one companion right now. 
Nie. Guessing this uh, this Volker is not the most competent caster, or he would have tried to do that defensively. Yes. That will hit the cat's touch AC as he reaches out. <laughs> Too shocking grasp. That's a lot. <laughs> Is there a save to reduce it? Unfortunately, no. He just has to touch you. Oh, no! The cat is... Uh, I believe, does Zero make you unconscious or staggered? Staggered. Z Zero is so staggered. I'm not dead yet, Nina! Barf! <laughs> yeah. Negative 12 HP, though, is dead. dead. Many Earth. heads. I don't have my revive yet. Anora. Save the day. I recommend a withdrawal. Or try and slash him. What does happen to you staggered, exactly? If Only you a standard, standard action. action, you will knock yep. yourself unconscious. Um, All you can really you can do is... Step down... So that way I can get in. Yeah, you can still take free yeah, swift I, I and immediate. I was thinking put stuffing right here. Well, yeah. you can attack and then step. Uh, no, she attacks, she will knock herself unconscious. But she can uh, take a move, can't she? She can do a move action, yes. And just get out. Yeah, a five-foot step is the wisest option to move in. Yeah. You can also draw out, like, a potion. Just get, potion. get it out. Sure. Can't drink it yet, but you can have it in your hand. I raise it to the sky. Flower. <laughs> Hello, I am Flower. Can you charge through Tazrak? No. No. Uh, more can you charge through the Tiefling who on the ground is difficult to raid. Not a good point. Let me see if I can. Yeah, he's not move. dead yet. Nah, uh, he'd still be there. Charges right. have to be a straight line. Honestly, just don't. Mm. If you can't attack with her, don't put her in front. You need people to get there. Yeah, I know, but Flower is mindless, and I can't command her. This is true. Flower will do the last order, which is kill enemies who are assaulting our friends. So Flower will go there, and that's her turn. Sorry, I, I would tell yep. her to not, but. <laughs> yep. You are stunned and blinded. Ermengard. <laughs> so, gonna move. You could just go uh, through the door. I was gonna move. It's, like, oh, is that corner not a spot? Just is that why just I can't release over it? her somewhere, uh, and I can give you vision. It's just because there's no revealed vision. Release her somewhere, and I can give you vision. Okay. Uh, you need to let go over on top of flower. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm not necessarily going there. No, Odin. He needs to give you vision of the room so you can move properly. But I wasn't necessarily even going there. What it's saying, oh, so you can it's move. temporary. Your token has to be there to give vision. Now you can move as you will because you actually have the layout of the room, so it'll let you go in spots. That's why you couldn't go in that corner. I wasn't even trying to go in the corner. You're the one who brought up whether it was a spot or not, Odin. I was changing my mind. We're still giving you options. That's all that's happening. Okay. So I'm going to be moving here just because I'm going to be taking AOO anyway. He has no melee weapon. And Are that's fine. Dollar? He's casting. Weirdo. Does Mirror Image work on grapples? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... it works on attack checks. Oh. As long as it's you reach out, try to grab him, it might get a Mirror Image instead. Yeah. But he should be down to one. Yeah, I'm still gonna just try to grapple that way if the wolf can actually do something. <laughs> she, she's not had a great track record. So it's definitely a grab if it gets his body. And hey, if you his body, we'll know which one's the body. It's not a mirror image. Okay. Well, he's grabbed. <laughs> he is indeed grabbed. But that does not dispel his last uh, mirror image if he has one. No, it does not. It just makes it easier to hit him. Luthwin. I'd like Nina to go first. Sure. <clears throat> Furf.
Hits this that time. will hit, and it does hit the real one. I'll go damage. That's enough. The wolf no. goes for his throat. Um, no, 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 no. I assume you will then finish off the rest of the tieflings. Mm -hmm. A great sword. It will do the job. Now that you're in the building, you realize it's noisier in here than you think. Ah, uh, because this is the headquarters? It's the headquarters, but um, everyone but Lortan, roll an int check for me. <laughs> I mean, I'll roll, but I'm unconscious. You, you Anora's... will recover soon enough. Anora is too busy being wounded to worry about intelligence checks. Hmm. I'm plus empty string? He didn't give my wolf any stats yet. Gotcha. Wolf exists only in our minds. <laughs> she literally has infinite int. Uh, Tazrak, Ermengarde, and Luthwin, you remember that sound. From when you saved the clothing store from demons. A very obvious rustling and throwing things around and oh they have those demons like breaking shit for no reason and it seems to be coming from over here okay well they have breaking shit demons in here but meanwhile you have entered the building so yes the cat is very hurt if anyone wants to give her some healing yeah here's a cure serious wounds potion when it's earth Lick. There you go, then. <laughs> so, checking the body. That was for you, Nora. so... So that's 19? Yep. Mm -hmm. You should be good there. Yes. <sighs> lick. Lick. Burf. Uh, lower turn. Okay, uh, okay, you're a good dog. Om nom 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 nom! Yeah, that's right. That's rolled really, really high. Okay, enjoy that, Lortan. So as um, as I as Honora straightens up, she reaches into her pack and pulls out the new mirror she got. Probably a good decision. So, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> you're in a foyer, and along the northern wall of the room, there is a painting, a mural of some sorts, showing a line of mounted crusaders crashing over a horde of twisted demons. Except the Sorry, the center room or the west one? This room. Okay, carry on. Except the Crusaders' faces have been obliterated and vile graffiti is carved over the entire scene. There's flesh blood all over the floor. Is the mural removable or just part of the, like, the wall? I'm sorry, mirror? What? Mural. No, no, no it's no. painted on the wall. Okay. Well... To someone, then not surprised they abused it. Uh, we should probably check the you know, Evoker and Vermlex bodies real quick before that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Again, not much at all. Okay, anything in the room? This seems to be a meeting hall of some sort. There are portraits on the walls, but the faces have all been slashed off. There are also uh, two marble planters that once held some kind of plant life, and they've been smashed to the ground. Just keep us destroy everything in sight. Now, of course, the most interesting room is the one Lortan is in. Mm. Come along, a bracket shows where a longsword once hung over a stylized gold sunburst affixed to the south wall. Lines of strange runes are carved into the walls on both sides of the sunburst, but dried blood and excrement have been smeared across it, and and the short bench for kneeling that sits on the floor. You don't you even can't. need a uh, role religion to, to know that this was once a shrine of some sort. And no, there's nothing I think, magic. I think that's where Ibeth's current sword used to be held. Perhaps. We can't leave this shrine like this. No, we can't. Do holy water? I do. I have a lot of it. Hold on. You're going to take the time uh, to clean it? 
mm-hmm. no religion, just to know the process to make it efficient. That was no arcane. I was dumb. Hold on. So now I clicked the wrong one. I'll, I'll take some bonuses when they were mistaken. Roll. Thank you. Uh, right. So yes, I do have uh, six vials of holy water. You you could figure out the proper method of cleaning this because they're all sort of the same. You also this is an, a shrine to to Ayamade. Of course it is. It's a fucking long sword. Uh huh. Yeah. This is where I mean, guards would kneel and pray before moving deeper into the garrison when they visited the uh, garrison. Well, I don't worship her. Does anyone but... understand Celestial? Celestial? Uh, no, I do not. Nope. Nope. Okay, then you have no idea what those runes are. Yeah, but um, the shrine's here, so I'll just ask Iomade for help, I guess. Are you the other to... god helped us. Are you going to kneel to to ask for help? Obviously, it's an altar. Uh, how many holy waters do you want me to have spent on cleaning this, by the way? Uh, just one. Please roll me a perception, Odin. When you kneel at the altar, the angle of view creates an optical illusion, so that the overly complex runes on the walls take the shape of a longsword, on which is written, Let us inherit thine arms, Iomade. Okay. I will relate this to the party. When did we find Fulton? <laughs> Curious. I would perhaps suggest placing the long sword of, you know, uh, Dirabeth carries there. I have cleaned the place with holy water, but we have other matters to attend to before we test such a Still need things. it, yeah. We do have need of weapons. Mm. If you wish to test your sword upon this, uh, Alter Arabeth, that is your decision, but we have. No, I, I can tell you from experience, it is only a simple long sword that hangs there. There we are then. Well, maybe placing the blessed one upon there may do something, but what do I know of such things? Um, I thought we deal with that noise first. Seems wise. And it's going to be those demons who hate mirrors again. Uh, in that case, uh, Anor, could I borrow your mirror? Sure. Thank you. Uh, Flower, please hold this mirror on your face. <laughs> Alright then. And I will put Flower over here in direct view so that's the first thing they see, but not the first thing they can get at. I'm listening in at this door. Just lots of smashing things. So it is this door that the noise is coming from? Yes. Yep. Okay. There. And now they should see Flower immediately, hit the mirror, try to get at it, and be unlikely to both hit Flower and get past everyone who kicked the crap out of them. All right, let's get this done. Uh, sorry, what is this about a mirror? Ah, uh, right. There was a kind of demon that really hates mirrors. Really okay. hates mirrors. We'll go for a mirror above all else to its Draw own. Draw aggro. Roger. Should yeah. I be right here? Uh, no, there's a door there. Uh, you're probably better off flanking with, like, on the one's other side. That's what I would think. I mean, you can you go anywhere you want, but you don't want to be on the other side of a potentially dangerous door. <laughs> I'm only here because it's a corner. Yeah, it works. Yeah, and I'm up here to keep a line of uh, clear line of sight for shooting. Yep, and the reason flower is there because conga line of death. They're gonna have to take a lot of hits to get to her. Oh, you're next to my wolf now. Burf, burf, lick, <laughs> chomp. No, no chomp. So, just taking a look at the clock. Is this where we're gonna pick up next time? It depends. We can do that, or you can take this encounter and then stop. Uh, I can play. still go. We should take a look at the scale of it, probably. Yeah, let's see how many we to deal with. I assume you're going to open the door and then let there be a clear line of sight to flower then? Mm-hmm. Um, I will also uh, ready a ready shot. Yeah. yeah, might as well ready a shot. I would recommend Lortan steps out of the way then. Mm-hmm. And uh, if Windunga would, would dog would... Wendwag. Wendwag? Wendwag would kindly join Luthwin in ready a shot. When do walk? Now do walk! Yeah. <laughs> I assume Irringard is going to open the door and step aside? Yep. Okay. Go ahead and do so. I'm assuming the door does open this way. Oh, look. The Abercondaloo in the room turns immediately. One moment.
but manages to resist its hatred of mirrors. Can it resist this? Yes, go ahead and <laughs> fire your shot. Good, you uh, good. Wendwag will fire hers as well, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to fall for that, but those arrows might be a problem. <laughs> Especially when she crits. Yeah. And the Abercondaloo falls. <laughs> Each air was immediately. <laughs> Might not be the only one. Yeah. Probably not. Yes, there are more. more. You hear rustling, and more come charging for the door. Damn it, Russell! <laughs> I love them. They see the mirror. Yes, they see the mirror. Come and get it. And they both managed to resist their hatred of it. Damn you. Fine, stand there and eat arrows. We don't care. I've kind of used my action. Mm -hmm. I know, but... Yes, so uh, either roll initiative or we call it there to come back to this. Your call. It's like two. I can take it. I'm going to do it. Whoa, lower initiative this time. I might need to disappear at any time now, but I can proceed until I receive the text saying that the wife's on her way back. Sounds good. Then I'll fire over there. Yeah, where's that button? There's that button. <laughs> this is all my plus zero is worth. <laughs> yeah, that just sucks, though. Honora. Fucking cat still faster than me. Damn, but, yeah, but eight dex. I have an eight one. initiative. Yeah, not an eight dex, eight initiative. Oh, oh, oh right, you have an initiative. 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 Mm -hmm. What should I do? I think it would be best to do a ranged attack instead of yeah. rushing in to claw them up and fouling up everything in the process. Well, you've always got some magic missiles for your nice standard attack. Yeah. Yeah, I pull out the wand. Two <laughs> magic missiles to number four. You can split them if you want. Yeah. Yeah, but I want to focus fire. Okay. What's your damage? I damage. D4. That's one. Um, hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yep, that'll fly into the Abercondalu and he'll grunt in pain. At least think it's a he if they have genders. So are we assuming this thing, this door is big enough that both of them could technically walk through it? Not at the same time. They I just want to cover it and line stopped. of sight. Mm. No, only one of them can fit through at a time. Luthwen. Okay, more specifically, would can I fire at the upper one without having it having cover? Yes. Not, the door is open at the moment. You can still shoot at them both without uh, problems right now. Then I'll be shooting at the one up top. Okie dokie. Both have hit, but it still stands. I would like, uh, yeah, Wind Windog to join her. No reason not to shoot now. You would um, have, you to, have actually, to actually. Yeah, no one's given an order. No, oh, fair enough. It'd have to be your turn. Give a standard action to order her. Ah, okay. That's Otherwise, can I have my wolf fire. order them? No. Four. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this. That's not only the only way for a straight line. Because that's straight, too. Yep, yep, sure. It is from the vertex. Attack on the top one still? still. Correct. That will hit. Second. 
It's still standing. But it trips now. Yes. Oh no! God damn it! Sure. It's okay, doggy. It is not tripped. Flower. Flower. Next feet. All right, next level. I really need it. Really bad. Charge that one. Charge the one, the dog, and the injured. You know, the injured one. Sure. They're both injured. Well, the more injured looking one. Bastion number five. Yep. Number five goes down. Swamp. Abercon Lou four will try and smash Flower in the face because she's close, and also it's a benefit of getting the mirror, even if it doesn't have to. Uh, we break the mirror. We just bought that. <laughs> Cost me money. Does anyone have mend on them as a kind of sweet? We can mend the mirror. Uh, that's my. That was my plan. If things miss. Two more. Miss and miss. Clang, 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 clang. Ermengarde. Ah, uh, you could, uh... I know, I just... I needed to see. So, yeah. go here. Please help me. You have become an Evercondalu. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's a face worse... Fate worse face worse than death. Yeah, <laughs> it, is, it is a face worse than death. <laughs> okay. Grapple. Grapple. That I think I win. Yes. <laughs> oh, and I actually get plus two against demons, so. Not that I need it. <laughs> Not that you need it. A Tens little right. bit of extra flex. Hmm. Things seem pretty well in hand. Yeah, I don't know what you even need to do here. Yeah, I think we're good, to be honest. Um. Watch the door up above, just in case. Pretty much. I'm watching the door, see if anyone comes running for the... If anyone comes running through this door that's obviously hostile, I might black lightning them. Okay. That's it. Lortan. Scooch. Over. Here. Anything at the end of this door, I don't know. Um, he, he does not uh, feel like trying to force his way into that melee would be a good idea. So he's Perfect. going to take the opposite side of this door. And be prepared. And be prepared to uh, bless with a morning star anyone who comes through this door. <laughs> <laughs> so I, really hope this, I hope this door opens inwards, because if it opens outwards, one of us is getting a door to the face. <laughs> so Honora would go, but first is Irabeth. Oh, she's going to take an... Don't step on my wolf, that's not nice! <laughs> she will stab the Abercondaloo. Stop him! Chapu, chapu. <laughs> that will hit. And that's why I wasn't charging into that melee, because it looks like there's one more in there than I thought there was. And she will stab it in the forehead and kill it. Nice. Is there one more in there? Nope, that's it. <laughs> ah, okay, the... The one that I can see the bottom half of must have already took in the volley of arrows. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of them got sucker punched by arrows, the other two got beat to death. Abercondolus are not your most uh, dangerous foe at the moment. They're just kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. I will go a search around the area, though, because usually when they're looting stuff, that means there's stuff. Well, I was going to pause it there, but we can get the, that out of the way oh, really quick. We like loot. We do like loot. Also means that like all the bookkeeping is kind of done. Yeah, we can just keep going, yeah. This room was once some sort of museum, but its contents have been smashed and scattered across the room. Even the shelves have been shattered and torn apart in places. There are the decapitated bodies of two knights, their armor and bodies broken and mangled in the ruins. I'll have to tend to them after. If anyone has... Uh, knowledge, history, or religion. Go ahead and roll it. No. Oh. Uh, you want the better or each? E uh, whichever one you want. Presumably you get different information for different choices. 
Lortan does not know this, unfortunately, but Tazrak will. Uh. This room was once used to display memor uh, memorabilia from the First Crusade, as you could tell just from some of the ruined things around. Mm -hmm. First Crusade relics. Destroyed beyond all... Uh... <laughs> Judging from what uh, the state of the bodies are, it seemed the Abercondalus were enjoying playing puppets with them. Ugh. Jerks. A yeah, quick well, examination that's... reveals that these two bodies belong to a pair of paladins who attempted to retake the Great Garrison on their own. They made it this far before being slain, and their bodies distracted the Abercondalu for quite some time. Now, all of their gear is completely destroyed uh. with the weapon of one of them, which still lies in the corner of the room, a plus one adamantine morning star, which the Abercondalus yeah. did not destroy, no matter what they did. So, who would like that? Our maybe? I don't. Doesn't Lord Tan use that stuff now? Uh -huh. Lord Tan has weapon focus, Morning Star. Hell yeah! <laughs> there you go. And I'm pretty sure plus one adamantine is going to be an upgrade. Well, yeah. it's not fire forged anymore, which is unfortunate, but adamantine—it's it's, is... it's a nice starting point. We'll see. Yeah. Mm. It's something you can just whack through any object now. Go ahead and mark that down. That you get that then. Okay. We'll make adjustments to macros in a bit. Uh, I'm going to keep using my uh, my Fire Forest one for now, but I will mark that that's in equipment. Mm -hmm. Shall I assume that Tazrak is going to uh, say some prayers for the bodies? Oh, yes. Yeah, paladins? Yes, yeah. they were paladins trying to reclaim the garrison. Like, like that's... Lufwin is usually all about corpses going, you know, to nature, but these are paladins. They do deserve their burial, right? So I will rule for them. Oh, shoot, I, just, I forgot to mention. Tayo, were you aware we're using background skills? Uh, lol, what? Oh, yo, God, you're going to have so many skills now. Yeah. Uh, I'll send you stuff after this, because we're, you know, you're probably going to have to poof soon, and we're finishing up. But there's yes. stuff. Yep. For example, Taz just rolled the, rolled the lore skill. Okay. Yeah, um, background skills are a special subset that makes you... Basically, you pick more role-playing skills, basically. Because you have some sort of job, presumably. Had. I think I remember once reading about... Uh... Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll throw it to you real quick. Like, Tyson the Grave Tender? Yeah, that, that's literally... He literally was a Grave Tender. You know, like, that. That was a job. <laughs> okay. You just, you just I'll, uh... The D20 PFSRD skills, background skills, I'll give it a read. Is there any modifications to this that I should be aware of? No, it should be how it works there. Yeah, just do okay. Two. Yeah, it just means like, for example, I can actually have profession soldier on mine and not be punished because I'm a ranger with low skill points. Uh -huh. Oh, I have uh, and and here I actually paid for my perform oratory and no history. Yes, <laughs> you can now refund you those essentially. Yep, Roger that. It gives us a little more role play wiggle room, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's kind of nice flushing things out. I completely forgot to mention it. That is my bad. Okay, okay. no worry. I'll look into it. Let you know. Jolly good. Uh, so we'll pause here then. Yes. For part <laughs> seven, you have made it into the Great Garrison, even if you are still only four rooms into it. And confirming no changes that we have to deal with in levels of crap. You have yeah, not leveled. Cool. Stopping streaming now. Goodbye, people. Bye. Bye.